last time on One Piece. Welcome to Adventures in Gran Insule, uh, a, uh, a D&D campaign set in the worlds of uh, uh, my own creation, the world of Gran Insule. It's very piratey, very treasure planet, very Eberron, very One Piece. Uh, in fact, so much today that with three of us being able to play, but our dear Matthew Eberly not being able to play, uh, we decided to do a Navy one-off, meaning they're going to be playing as the pirate hunters hunting down a criminal. That is the concept for today's game. Uh, my name is Julian or Julie Ciel. I am your GM, your DM, the person sent who's going to be you know, running these people through the game. Uh, I'm very tired. I'm tired. Uh, Addy, who are you and who you're going to be playing today? Don't describe their appearance just yet, but name no, no, and no. class. Hello, my name is Addie Hayes. I am playing Vice Admiral Drill Drill Fin Fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> that's all you need to know right now. That is all you need to know. As you can see next to, if you're wondering about classes next to Addie's face, you see oh, Bard. Sorry, yes, you're I'm okay. a Bard. <laughs> <laughs> Malik, Drill Drill Fin Fine. Who are you playing as? Uh, I am playing Vice Admiral Alvora D. Glimmeroost, uh, <laughs> and she's a monk, baby. 20 years of One Piece, we still don't know what D means. Michael! <laughs> Hello! I'm Michael, you might recognize me from the show you're watching right now. I am playing Vice Admiral Bryce Admirable, uh, a barbarian rogue. What's so funny, Malik? Is something funny? Huh? I was just, funny my name. Huh? There was a funny joke that I remembered uh, from. Yeah, you better keep that ago. joke. I'm about to get hilarious. <laughs> I'm about to get hilarious if you make that joke. God. Well, <laughs> that's our crew. Uh, we have Alora. Sorry. Yes. Uh, drill, drill, and Bryce Admirable, the Vice Admiral. That's uh that's our crew. That's our crew for today. What are what are they walking into? I'm not really sure, but we'll find out. All right. Can y'all hear a little bit of a tune? Yes, a hint I can. Of it? Awesome. So we shift our perspective in the world of Gran Insule. We are not following our usual pirate crew of the Ferret Friends working title. We are instead shifting our perspective to those of the Navy. The Navy is a very respected institution across the world of Gran Insule. They are the peacekeepers, and with a world that is mostly water and islands, they are the ones responsible for keeping the peace. That is who our story will be dealing with today. Now, the first person you see is not one of our player characters. Um, the camera sees a blue sky and a figure opening a door into it. A tall, six-foot something, incredibly broad-shouldered, big-bellied figure with a coat hanging off of his shoulder saying, Admiral, walks onto the scene. Uh, you all know this person as Admiral Grant Seuss, one of the big uh, heads of the Navy, basically second only to uh, uh, the fleet admiral himself. Grant Zeus is only matched by Ramina Ishtar the Comet in seniority. Grant Zeus is an air genasi, meaning he has air elemental blood in him. So he's a big, bald man, but his skin has this kind of bluish, silvery texture, and his beard is made of big, white, fluffy clouds. And he's walking with this big admiral coat draped over his shoulders, standing in front of a group of four individuals. Grant Zeus, Admiral Zeus, looks to all of you and says, Ladies! And Vice Admiral Briggs, we have a very important mission for all of you. Now, sending three Vice Admirals to track down two criminals is, of course, a bit of a show of force. <laughs> but with the Fleet Admiral away on business, I don't care! I say we crush him into the ground! Ha 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 ha! Very a uh, part of the course for Admiral Zeus right here. He laughs, he, he like puts his hands on his big belly and he goes, so everyone, I hope you're ready to crush the skulls of some criminals. We've got a world to keep safe. And the camera spins around 
Uh, let me roll a d6 to see who's going to get introduced first. I think our uh, our barbarian rogue is going to get introduced first. So, Michael, can you please describe Bryce for us? Uh, Bryce is a half-orc with uh, very scraggly black hair with like, red tips, almost like fiery. Like, you can see little flickers coming off of it here and there. Uh, very tall, muscular, scars all around the cheek and a single eye patch. Uh, she's using one of her daggers to pick what looks like red meat out of her teeth. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. And she looks at Grant and goes, Ugh, Grant! We need to send four admirals for this. Send me and a couple of dogs, and we'll get done with this in like an afternoon. Look, I know that you think very highly of yourself, Bryce, but you, like all of us, have your weaknesses. For example, my weakness is the dessert cart. <laughs> and yours, of course, is that sometimes you charge into things without thinking. I always think when I need to. Sure. I sure. never need to. <laughs> Let's see who gets introduced next. Uh, Drill Drill. You describe yourself for us. So, um, Vice Admiral Drill Drill Finfine is a dragonborn mother. <laughs> yes, she's a mother. She is, you know, in her 40s. She's got that beautiful womanly figure, a nice hourglass. She has about 12 dragonborn children so like she's been around are they lot. here 12 <laughs> yeah 12. are they here that's my question um i mean they're not here here with us right now like they're back at home with my current boyfriend she is no husband i'm no screaming husband. single mom girl boss supreme we love it single. we love it oh my god um, she, she's a little bit of a slut a little bit of a slut what I mean, she's not. She never got married. Is, like, her, is her pickup loves. line, you can drill, show me anytime. Oh, my God. We're you can drill, drill me, already. and then if you're going to feel fin fine. That's how she got those 12 kids. But, uh, uh, you know, she's pretty cute. She's a black dragon, and she's got beautiful, like, gray, longer, not hair, but, you know, kind of like the dragonborn, almost tentacles. Yeah. The tendrils um, that come off their heads. Tendrils, sometimes. there it is. Tendrils. <laughs> um, but she's she's pretty tall. She does look pretty scary, but then the moment you hear her speak, you're like, oh, interesting. She's not that scary at all. But she's she can be. She can be. She's very gentle. She, she's she's the mom of, of the Navy. Vice Admiral Drill Drill, say. if it comes down to it, you're of course willing to stick your sword into these criminals, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. I've got to keep my children safe, you know? If I, I can't let a criminal through, any, anything that you've done, shing, they are gone. You've got my word, Admiral. Incredible. And finally, the camera moves over to our last person. Malik, can you please describe yourself? Uh, yes, of course. So, uh, Alvora is dressed in a stunning uh pink suit uh it's like a like a blush pink and there's little little frills coming out uh, uh of the um the what are these called what are these cuffs the cuffs and then also a big like billowy frilly uh blouse. collar oh. blouse uh, sure yes yeah, so at the at the front um and uh she has a, a ring on each finger mm. um her <laughs> Her talons are painted uh, a gorgeous rose gold. Um, she has just almost ridiculously uh, flashy long eyelashes that you can only see because her uh, heart-shaped uh, spectacles are uh, pointed just a little bit down so that she can uh, bat her eyes at Zeus. Oh my God. Um, oh my God. Uh, and she just says, well, tan my heart. My, my beautiful feathered hide and call me a kumquat. Now, Zeus. Hey, you you're know, a kumquat indeed. You know as well as I do that I have two MOs. That is to chew bubble gum and to crack some skulls. And darling, I'm all out of bubble gum. So let's get this going. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's plenty of bubble gum after this. Want to make sure that my skull doesn't get cracked by yours, of course. Oh, of course not. 
Oh, I did. I did bring some uh, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies that my my children made. If you guys want some before we before so we go off, please. Thank you. You know, I love your cooking. It's absolutely just divine. And you know, I'm gonna bring something over for my god babies next time I come visit you. So okay. while Elvora and Drill Drill are making their way through the cookies, Grant goes over as well. Uh, there is a fourth admiral or vice admiral with you all um, by the name of Hector Briggs. Uh, he's got a coat hanging off his shoulders, a strange conical sword, and a cigar in his mouth that he's always chomping on. Uh, Michael and Malik might remember this person appearing occasionally in the main campaign. Oh. Uh, and as they're helping themselves to cookies, Hector has got his arms folded next to Bryce and he goes, Women, huh? Excuse me, and I rip out a bag of beef jerky and start chewing on the bag. Like, not the jerky, but like the bag around the jerky. And like, just like chewing it angrily. He makes eye contact with you, and like, you can see like the red in his <laughs> eyes as he's like just taking a puff on his cigar. Like, increasingly, you're chewing the bag, and he's just sucking harder on his cigar. Oh my goodness, will you take the room? All right, all right, everyone. Enough's enough. Now, you are going off to uh, some uncharted territory. I believe this is Uncharted Island number 74. Uh, and he points into the distance. Northeast of here, not a very well populated part of the world. On that side of Craghome, that's just kind of unpleasant. Uh, and um, you see a huge stretch of water um, ahead of your fancy hover ship. The Navy, of course, can afford the best hover ships in Grand and Sule. This thing will get you there in less than a day. Uh, it is practically a plane. Um, but on the way, um, because you are kind of around the Dark Sea, you do see a lot of, like, mutant uh, uh, leviathanic creatures just in the waters. Um, Michael and Malik in the main campaign think about what almost ate you and Voss. There's a lot of those. Yeah, I, uh, on the way. I remember. I know, I know well. <laughs> yeah. So um, these big eel-like creatures with their mostly mouth with like six huge fins. Uh, Admiral Zeus says, All right, well, I've been doing paperwork all day. He stretches his shoulders. So I might as well make this a quicker journey for you. He holds his hands up to either side of him and thunder rumbles. Zeus lightning! And he holds his arm out and boom, 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 boom. Uh, lightning stretches as far as the eye can see. Brrr, boom! Causing explosions <sighs> down the sea. And hundreds of these leviathanic creatures rise to the surface as carcasses. And he's like, well, that'll make it an easier journey for you. Best of luck. And the Admiral goes back inside, kind of just doing what Admirals do. Well, fuck. <laughs> what a show of force. We could have hunted those. Damn it. How so fun. Amazing. Um, so Hector Briggs leads the way into your ship, and you are all on the way to Uncharted Island number 74. Um, so the three of you are on the ship, uh, and you are going to get briefed by the mission very briefly, and then you're going to get briefed about the mission very quickly. And uh, <laughs> then the cabin is yours before you arrive there. Um, Admiral, okay. uh, Vice Admiral Briggs looks to the three of you, you're all, like, sitting or standing in a lounge area of the ship. Uh, he takes a cigar out of his mouth briefly. So these are the people that we're hunting down. And then um, a little hollow screen, because this is a, enough of a sci-fi world, um, gets two yeah. figures kind of in, like, a light blue Star Wars hologram. They look young. They look like they could be teenagers, but they do have pointed elf ears. Oh, so shit. you're not sure. Ren and Iri Inaba. They are brother and sister, incredibly dangerous. These are criminals who have very powerful black market ties. They're fey, so you want to be very careful of them. They're very tricky. That's who you're going to be hunting. We don't know why they're on the island, though rumor has it that they are searching for something. Since, an, since it's an uncharted island, we don't know if it's treasure. We don't know if it's an ancient artifact, but by instinct... If we're dealing with criminals, it's something either valuable or dangerous. The fact that the three of you have been tasked to do it, I think says a lot. These are not yes. people to be trusted. So. Sounds they like it so could young. be something very powerful, you know? I mean, they look so... They're so young, though. Yeah, my look goodness. They're whippersnappers. They're calling down the big guns like us to take care Maybe of some, some, some little kids. 
Maybe I should have kept some of my cookies. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. They're criminals. <laughs> we have to kill them, not feed them. Well, no one's going to feel bad oh. if I butcher them, right? Oh. Hold on. I know oh. Admiral Zeus is kind of a strike with lightning first and ask questions later type of boss, but I want you all to consider. We do not know the intentions of these people. I know this is not exactly what he had in mind. I encourage capturing. Of course, I'm the same rank as all of you. I think keeping at least one of them alive could give us a hint as to why they're here in the first place, and more importantly, if they're working with any other criminals. He, like, uh, uh, lights his cigar out on the table before pulling out a second one and sticking it in his mouth. Okay, well, you know, if you think that's what's best, I don't think we need to kill them. I, if it's on the table, I will do it. Don't, don't worry about that, but... I think that maybe if what you say is true, I, I don't, I, I, you know, I like diplomacy and all. I do love to, you know, punch and kick things, but I understand that sometimes it's better to use words. And also maybe they have information that could uh, be beneficial to us while they're conscious. So, you know, I, I don't know about Bryce. I can already see that plaintive look on your face. Well, well, no, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I know that you love, you love violence more than me. Cutting, maiming, killing, what? Okay, Why exhibit, am I here? Here? exhibit oh, A, exhibit oh, A. We could just, you know, kill one of them and then keep one of them alive, you know? They, but they need to be in one piece the when they come back. And then oh, well, they're we siblings. Them and it'll scare Sorry, them what enough. did you say, Bryce? Because they have to be in one piece when they come they back. To... Like, we capture one, but like, they well, don't gotta be like, you know. Fingers. Yeah, like a finger or a leg or like artery or a leg. I, I man. suppose not. I would just encourage, again, who am I to say? I'm driving the ship, apparently. I encourage getting some information out of them at the very least. I think that the decisions we make today could have an impact on what's to come. There's a lot of rumors about pirate alliances. And I think depending on how we handle this, we either come away with information or we don't know why... More and more people are teaming up against the Navy nowadays. Bunch of cowards. Well, should be oh, fine. Oh, well, Bryce, I... the moment they have attack us, maybe we then can kill them. You know, we try to talk to them first, and then, you know, they attack us, and if they're super powerful, we kill them, you know? Yeah, and besides, uh, uh, look, like, everyone spills their guts when you spill their guts, so, like, I just don't, that made no sense, but I'm gonna give it to you. No, 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 I get, I get what she's dishing out. Yeah, okay. like, uh, like, you cut them, and, the, you know, the... They talk, the they talk when they get chopped, yeah. Very, yeah! Very eloquent, my word. I'm kind of a smart they guy. They blab when they get stabbed. They Ooh, oh, wow. okay, now that was kind of good! good. You were one of those, well, well, mine was like that, it was kind of the same thing. He takes out a second cigarette and puts it in, or a cigar and puts it in the other side of his mouth. Another okay, bag now, see, of jerky. That's not, that's not healthy, oh, that's, that's not much. good That's for a little you. much, don't I'm you worry about your lungs. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Okay, well, I got they're like a poet, Briggs, okay, so maybe... Do it on the deck, if you don't mind. Fine, fine. Um, uh, Briggs leaves the three of you in the cabin. You're going to arrive pretty soon. Okay, now I need you to dish right away. Okay, now listen here, Drill Drill. How are my god babies doing? How is, uh, how's Fester doing? Oh, Fester. Fester is so... Oh, they're eating so well Fester now. They are getting like bigger. <laughs> I'm so happy with Fester. They're rolling around. <gasps> Fester breathe lightning. Oh my word! Stop it all the time. Wow. That is amazing. He's so young. That's he's a, he's a prodigy. Must be at this point. That's what I was thinking. I mean, his father. Oh, sorcerer. Sorcerer. Oh, so it makes the one sense. from you sense. know with the okay, and you know, I when you when you were gallivanting around with him, I was like, listen, I know that you don't like to kiss and tell, but you were glowing anytime you I, you know what this, this we don't need to mix business with pleasure. We don't have to talk about it right now. It's fine. You I'm just glad to kiss and tell. I mean, I'm being told so much right now. We could be thinking about killing things right now. There's bodies out there ready to be brought in. Horse brass. We're we're gonna get to the what? killing, but there's a little tea time beforehand. You gotta. You, you I don't know. need tea. And we're you pulled about out like a bodies little... right now, just in uh, a different way. Right, pulled out a bottle with like a skull and crossbones on it. That's like clearly like not 
real liquor, but it's more close to like acetone, and they start ah! drinking it. Ugh. Ooh. Tea time. Should we take a little shot of mead? I got some mead in my pocket. You know, it's kind of like a girls' outing for this trip. I, I haven't know. been on like on a whole Ooh. on a whole outing with all female vice admirals before. It's always been two of us, maybe, but not all it's three true. of us. It's true. It's true. I mean, they brought Briggs along. I guess they didn't think we could do it ourselves. Yeah. But you know what? I will. You know, I will never turn down hard liquor, darling. So please, and, and Briggs That's is not hard in liquor. the room with us. It Fair is enough. Girls, not Fair, and you know what? Let's cheers to that. There you go, ladies. Mead uh, shots. Like puts Wait. the a puts the acetone in the mead. Oh no! <laughs> mm. It's got a kick. Mm. Mm. I make it on my farm with my kids. <laughs> Put them to work early. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, stiff. Stiff is in charge of all the mead op operations. Stiff. No way. Stiff. Oh that's my goodness. Stiff. 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 Okay, that's who we've established <laughs> we established for your children so far. There's 10 more and I can't wait. <laughs> I, I'm not keeping track. I hope you all. No, I'm keeping track. We got Fester, Stiff, Stiff. Oh my goodness. Lord. Oh my goodness. All right. So you all arrive uh, at Uncharted Island 74. Things start to get very cold up here, by the way. Luckily, your Vice Admiral coats are pretty weather resistant. Uh, they do also have like a, a hood within the lining that you can pull out if the weather gets particularly intense. Um, but Hector opens the door and all of you see a white wasteland of glacier cliffs. Um, uh, snow, uh, it is uh, coming down in chunks, not quite blizzarding. It just seems up here at this temperature this far north in Gran Insule, it is always snowing. And there is a hint in the distance of a boom, boom stomping as you see a giant silhouette about 20 feet tall vanish into the snowstorm. Uh, Briggs um, uh, lights another cigar and goes, I think that's uh, yetis. They're up here. Oh. oh. A normal yeti. Fine. That looked like an abominable one, though. Those ones are pretty tough. Though, um, Bryce, you're pretty comfortable with fire, right? They don't like that very much. No, it should be fine. Plus, they make good meat. It's fine. Yeah. You know, I dated a Yeti once. Would not recommend. But I, I will say in bed. Okay, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. That is fair. They're not very monogamous, though, and I got a problem with that. But, you know, we'll talk about that later. Ugh. If I knew that we were going to be going somewhere so cold, I would have brought my brilliant daughter, Berber. Oh, She's like, Berber! Oh, you She's know. my one fire baby and i'm so proud of her she's so sweet I, i'll never forget when you brought her home for the first time you actually brought her to work i think and i don't mm -hmm. I, I don't remember if you got a demerit for that or not I, I i i stuck up for you i tried to make sure they didn't you know i was like listen she does great work let her bring her damn kids if she wants to when she breathed fire immediately at, at, at two days old i was like gobsmacked just incredible a, a prodigy again you i don't know where you keep it's your genes they are uh exquisite they must be oh she I was think all right oh please, I, I, I like berber yes i know <laughs> all right well best of luck to you and um he holds out what looks like some type of a uh, uh communicator this will be a last resort. This basically just fires off an electronic flare for me to find you with. Who wants it? I'll Not take me. it. Tosses it over to Amora. All right. Be careful out there. Press that button in case you need me or the ship. Uh, kind of hard for me to get the ship onto land, but if you don't go too deep in or if you're able to get closer to the shore, I should be able to pick you up in case things get hairy out there. Take it easy. And then Briggs uh, gives a little two-fingered salute off to all of you before coming back into the ship. All right, girls. <laughs> so how are you all finding your way through the snow? Um... There could be checks, there could be spells, there could be just winging it and seeing what happens. Uh, can I make a perception check to see if I can perhaps glean what the best path Absolutely. Go for it. Rue would be? Okay. I, I might actually say this is a survival check, though. Mm. 
Survival check. Okay, well Because you are making your way through wilderness right now. Okay, my survival's not terrible. I'll still I'll still make the check. Can I while it's happening, can I do a perception check to see if there is any evidence of like people setting up camp? Yes, you uh, may. Yeah. That like is that. something that a perception check could um, be used for. Could I cast well, locate creature for one of the kids? One of the elven kids? Ooh. Do you have enough information for that? First, Malik, tell me uh, what you got. I have to. Uh, I wish I had just done a perception because I got a seven. It ah. says I describe or name a creature that is familiar to you. You sense the direction oh to God. the creature's location as long as the creature is within a we thousand got feet of you. If the creature is moving, you know the direction of the movement. <laughs> we got reconnaissance. Wait, the po- there wow. is no, there's no point to my check. <laughs> well, you know, it's a fourth level spell. I'm okay with you spending a fourth, le- fourth level spell before the Thank combat you. starts. Yeah, go ahead. That's pretty sick. Um, this is a concentration spell. So for up to an hour, you, Drill Drill, visualize these two children or children, teenagers, Ren and Irie Inaba, now that you saw, like, pictures of them, you close your eyes and, like, kind of a draconic sense starts entering your brain. You are able to, you kind of, like, see past a group of yetis. You see past a giant, I mean, gargantuan bird creature that looks to be hunting the yetis. And past that, uh, on the other side of a glacier, you do detect the two individuals. Ooh, ladies, I have found the children. All right, we're going to go that way. There's yetis, but there's also a big flying giant bird thing that are hunting the yetis. So I think if we can just get past them pretty easily, we can get to the children at the other glacier. Oh, I don't think we'll have any problem getting past any yetis. Yeah, that's free yeti meat. Yeah, absolutely. Either we get some boys home or we get some food home. Very true. I got, I don't know if this adds virtually anything. I got a 27 on the production check. Incredible. I'll say that if you so desire, you can avoid the Yetis entirely. Okay, I'm down. Okay, so uh, Drill Drill is able to give you all an idea of where to go. And then Bryce is able to... uh, using just her natural combat instinct, seeing where the yetis are, um, uh, taking a look at this big bird creature and kind of like instinctively, um, kind of like trying to stay like in between it and the yetis. So the yetis are kind of staying away from the bird creature and the bird creature is more drawn to the yetis than to you. You are able to make your way through the snow. Uh, yeah. So what's the plan? You, you are now over the course of about an hour as you are trudging through the snow. Within a few minutes, you can be upon these people. Now, is there a plan? Are you just walking up to them? What's the thought? Now, do we want to try and have a conversation with these two, or are we just going to try and apprehend them as soon as possible? Because they're going to see these uh, very beautiful, well, at least in my case, very beautiful uh, Vice Admiral cloaks and you know they might run for the hills so do we have any sort of specific tactic we want to employ i got no problem getting right on them because you know i'm very fast and then we'll just immediately uh you know hold them down question them maim them as we spoke about before i'm i'm fine with whatever uh bryce is like inquisitively looking at like both of them and like sizing them up and then going do any of you have a coin? Like, anything to flip over? Oh, I've got some gold if you want to just flip my piece of gold. Yeah, we only need to bring back one. All right, body bag for one, rope for the other. Flip it. We're sure we're gonna we're gonna guarantee kill one? Because I feel like we might well, as well I mean, kill them both if we're gonna kill either. I don't, you don't want to separate Oh, wait, siblings. yeah, but. Come on now. Well, okay, we can plan ahead about which one we're gonna kill. Yeah, we can. But then we like... don't have to kill both of them. Like, let's just make a plan already which one we're gonna kill. Uh, I'll say that Hector would have given you this information. Ren, the boy, is more known for ranged attacks, and Irie is known for being a fiercer melee warrior. If that. There happens. we go. We can... uh, what do I see them doing? You don't right see them now. yet. You are approaching them and may. And okay. Like, I assume you all would be talking okay. about that. Yeah, um, let me go knuckle to knuckle with the with the close range, whatever, and then we can just yeah, oh, oh 
put one of them underneath the snow. No one will find them. Okay, well, I'm not going to let you have all the fun now. I want a little knuckle knuckle too, but let's, okay. Uh, uh, against my better judgment, just because, let's at least see, all right, if they will come quietly. We are, we are capable of diplomacy, you know? Uh, we're not, well, okay. Well, I we. say we're not barbarians, but, I, I, you know. I would say some maybe. Of us are. Maybe I go in first. You know, I do have a very motherly persona. I can try to talk to them. And then the moment things go wrong, since you are more of the fighters, you jump out and you protect me. And I can just teleport out of there and then support you. Okay, I like that idea. I'm not going to let anybody do anything to the mother of my grandbabies. You know that very well. So uh, if you think that's the best course of action, I will, of course, support you. Bryce, I assume you are willing to do the same. Uh, not fighting head to head hurts brain that's fine we're yes. probably gonna have to fight him but i think we at least should just Dude. try to be diplomatic so that way we don't get in trouble when we inevitably do have to cut them asunder okay and then maybe i can you know like based on like their personalities we'll be able to tell which one we should really kill maybe one's obviously dumber than the other you know that's a fair point that is a fair point Troy, mm -hmm. you made me feel a lot better i I was feeling stressed out and we couldn't kill, we wouldn't be able to kill anything. And now, hold on, I need that. Here, okay. have a shot of meat as well. Oh my God. I know, we might be killing some kids today, y'all. That's Oh nice. my God, yes! They're elven. They may look like kids, but them That's whippersnappers are probably like at least a hundred something years old. Okay, so let's not, come on. We don't know if they're fresh or they're, you know, crusty elves. And also, if they're old enough to be playing pirate out here, they're old enough to get the gig to Am I right, ladies? Come on now. Come I on. learned yes. that the hard way. I mean, I don't know what I was. I was six. They put me on the gallows, and I was like, what? This is so silly. And now look at me. I'm having fun. Okay, well, sure. Yeah, sure. think of they can learn to be pirate. They can learn to die soon. Yeah, you know, we're gonna have to unpack that a little later because you bring that up relatively often. Unpack and what? I feel like they're, uh, you know, a little bit of neither here nor there we'll work on it later let's let's go get these two Woo! let's go awesome. i'm excited so the plane is drill drill approaches yep. yes can i do a uh can i roll stealth to like get in a position to like hide myself yes you may cool. shit uh it's a 30. You, did you think shit that's a 30. yeah okay oh wait excuse me uh, all right yeah that's Pretty good. Um, uh, Malik, are you trying to be stealthy as well? Is Al um, trying to be stealthy? I think so because okay, I'm trying to tie out for uh for for Chicharon. Uh, Alvora is the godmother of Drill Drill's children. I think I I may have slipped and said grandbabies, but I meant godbabies. <laughs> um, yes, I will roll the stealth check because okay. uh, I understood. We gotta Did I do that math right? 17 plus 13. It's Are you dead ass? ass? That's 30. <laughs> okay. Rogues, high level rogues, they do this. <laughs> I feel like I never rolled that well as a rogue. Uh, <laughs> also, we at level 12. Always bad. Also, what are you talking about? You like stole like five things off of the main antagonist of the arc oh, before right. he died. I forgot about <laughs> you You're like memories. <laughs> Uh, I literally, I knew this would happen. I fucked up. I rolled this one die and I think I got rid of all the good juice. I rolled like two no. fucking natural 20s before it started. And now it's rolling like shit. I got a two. You got, you got to recalibrate eight. for and 10. And Alan's get proficiency, not advantage on stealth. So yeah, so a 10? I can't roll again. Okay. Yeah, it's a 10 total. Right. A fucking plus eight and I get oh, a 10. Okay. Oh my God. So drill, drill. Yeah. You all are kind of like upwards on the edge of a cliffside. Um, oh. Bryce and Alvora move to hide, to move stealthily behind the trees and outcroppings. All the trees are like evergreen trees. They are snow-covered pine trees. Um, and sitting near the edge of this cliff, it's not a huge cliff, it's only about 50 feet up, uh, you see the two elves. You see Ren Inaba and Iri Inaba. Um, Ren, the brother, kind of has a greenish tint to his skin. His hair is a darker green compared to the lighter green. And Irie, her skin is kind of like a tan, 
but her hair is constantly shifting. Her hair kind of seems to change colors between reds, yellows, and oranges very slowly. <clears throat> oh, hello over there! They both like turn around very quickly. Oh, hello! Hello, Ren kind of stands up. Um, Irie goes, brother, what are you doing? No, 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 don't worry about it, Irie. Hi! What are you Hello, doing? Hello, I'm just out a little here? lost, you know, as you can tell. I'm part of the Navy, as you can <laughs> tell. But I got lost, my, my, my ship wrecked, and. Oh dear. I don't know if you have a ship. I just need some place to get back home. I've got 12 kids at mm. home, you know? Mm, you know, uh, you can make a deception check for me. <gasps> you got it, baby. This is going to be an important one. I love Trill Trill. I'm lost. One. That is 14. Plus anything? No, 14. Okay. Oh my god, is a I mean, bar? Plus things, How are okay. we getting juiced? <laughs> what juice. is happening? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Irie stands up, um, and you can see that she she's wearing like a, a longer cloak. Um, Ren is kind of just wearing like a tank top and baggy pants, like very nice tank top with like a lot of necklaces and bracelets. Um, but Irie is wearing a cloak and she says, brother. And then they kind of like look to each other back and forth. You said your navy. Very interesting that you would just so happen to end up in the wilderness out here, huh? Oh, I mean, I did say my ship wrecked, and it was right near this island, and it's not really... I mean, mm. I don't know if this mm. is part of any uh, yeah, a no, country or anything, that's any very region, interesting but I don't know anything about this island. I think navy would be well aware that this is uncharted territory, and there's probably a reason that you're out here. Maybe oh, to... yes, we were looking for some criminals. Thought so. Uh, Ren slides down the cliff out of sight, um, and Irie walks up towards you. Um, you see from the bottom of the cliff, there is a flash of green light. You do not see what Ren did. Uh, however, in front of Alvora, a giant abominable yeti is teleported in front of you um. uh, in a burst of fey energy. Oh. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh. I'm ready to rumble, baby. I'm um, ready. I have a question about. Actually, it's the mission. Never mind. I What's your question? I was really banking These on that you were going to say. Uh, Godlike. I'm, I'm getting some rolls today. You're getting all the fucking good ones. I haven't rolled double digits once yet. I Julian, I was really banking on deception. Or just <laughs> persuasion and not deception. My persuasion you, is plus 11. But you lied. <laughs> But you lie. It wasn't <laughs> yeah. a full lie. It was a lie. If you I lie, if you lie, like, oh, you are God. rolling. I, I told I had children. I have 12 children. That That's was true. Bit. Your ship that wrecking was, was not. <laughs> well, if you were like, come quietly and maybe we'll let you live. 12, okay, for Alvora. Oh. Oops, sorry, y'all. I mean, I wanted to fight. I, when I oh. heard we weren't going to fight the Yetis, I was like, okay, well, damn. Now we I gotta... got natural 20. Okay, oh, you will go first no matter damn. what, even though Ren got above a 20. Which is Yo, oh, well, I got a 25. Alvora's rolling like shit. I got a uh, 21. Okay, what's your dexterity modifier? Me, plus six. That's oh, five. sorry, no, but dexterity, sorry, sorry, plus five. That's tied. Well, so, okay, yeah, no, so it's, it's plus it's, five and it's, charisma gets It's tied five. with Ren. Roll a d20 for me. Whoever gets higher goes first. Yeah. Roll ease. Uh, 12. Y yeah. So it is going to be drill, drill. Uh, uh, Bryce, Ren, and then Irie, Alvora, the Abominable Yeti is going to be the initiative order. This Can is a big battle. Me how far are we from? Yeah, let's paint the picture. Yeah. So, this is a strange combat encounter. Ren has slid down the cliff out of sight, and Abominable Yeti was somehow teleported in front of Alvora. Uh, Bryce, you are within about 10 feet of the Abominable Yeti. Drill Drill, you are facing down with Irie. Um, uh, and as combat starts, she undoes half of her cloak, and in the hand that revealed itself, her fingers start elongating into razor-sharp tree branches. Sick. Um, uh, so, we'll say Drill Drill's ahead of all of you. Let's not do exact, like, feet numbers, because that'll be, like, kind of hard to track in a theater of the mind game with this many moving pieces. But mm -hmm. if you tell me, like, I want to run up and attack this person, we can figure that out that way. 
Um, so are, are we still hidden, by the way? You are. Alvor is not. Okay. So We're drill, still... drill. What? Drill, drill what? is person. Bryce is still hidden. Bryce stealth successfully. Oh, 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 I thought I thought you were like, is Bryce still hitting? And I was like, what? What did you mean by that? Still <laughs> I was like, what does that <laughs> mean? Like, uh, drill, drill. You are first in the order. Irie is facing you down compared to her brother, who seems more outward and flamboyant. She says, um, "You shouldn't have come here." But I was told to, you know, by my uh, my by my boss, and you are kids, and I want to make sure you're all safe. So one moment, hold monster on the um, yeti. Okay. What type of saving throw does the yeti have to make? So Wisdom cool. fifteen. Wisdom fifteen. This guy hates Alvor and loves children. I am so sorry. That's a natural twenty. Okay. Well, I tried to take control of your monster, but um, I'm out of here. I'm gonna do a misty step towards the bottom of the cliff. Okay, Hopefully yeah. Somewhere Just kind of eyeball where Ren him. was? Yeah. Are you trying to land near him or, like, away from him? You know, near him. Fuck it. Let's okay. go. Okay, let's say you, you missed except you teleport about 10 feet away from him. Oh, so we're not the only ones who can teleport ourselves and other people, huh? Oh, no. I also have that power as well. I also tried to take control of your abominable snowman up there, but uh, he said, no, absolutely not. So you guys chose a good one there. Yeah. Would you like a cookie? I think I'm good. And um, <laughs> you're, fa you're facing down with Ren. You see that at the bottom of the hill, um, he has on his back what looks like a cannon shaped like a giant tree stump. Um, Ooh. and that's where he's what at. Anything fuck? else you're doing on? Oh, you've done your action. You've done your. Okay. My bonus. So Bryce, I'm done. you're up. The abominable yeti is not paralyzed. Okay. So how does like how do attacks work if you aren't being seen? Because I know you have there's advantage. I have advantage. You have okay. advantage. I will. Yes, you have advantage. Um, if you rage, you're going to damage it and reveal yourself. I'm not raging. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna... Am I within 20 feet of the Yeti? Yes, you are. Alright, I'm gonna throw my dagger at the Yeti. Okay. Roll to uh, hit. so, roll to hit. Uh, do they 16 hit? Uh, did you roll with advantage? Oh, right, yeah, sorry. All good. Uh, do they 17 hit? <laughs> Either way, yeah, yeah, it hits. It hits? Okay. So, it's roll and then add sneak attack, right? Yep. So the base weapon damage is going to be, oh no, it's lagging. Hold on one second. All good. Yep, this uh, is the this is the difficult part of your character. You got a, lice, a lot of dice to roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it actually goes, in person die, boy. Like, like I still have forty six. My problem. Like, Just roll okay. the one four times. Oh, I mean, true, but that's fast. Um, I will allow you to roll it once and then multiply it by four, as oh. long as you commit to doing that. I'm doing that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. here comes the one. So first, uh, so the dagger is going to do eight damage, and then the sneak attack is going to do... Um, two times four is eight. So, so 16 damage total. Yeah, 16 damage total. Okay. Nice. 16 damage to the Abominable Yeti. Incredible. You throw your dagger. That's also the first attack. You can also run up and attack again if you want, because you have two attacks per turn. I do? Yeah. Um, You're a fourth level barbarian, right? At least a yes. fourth level barbarian. Yeah. Then you have two attacks. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I am. Wait, where is that? What's the name of that? Is it um, extra attack? It's just really it's extra attack. Yeah. If okay. you are, if you are a fourth level barbarian fighter ranger, you have a second attack. Okay. Um. You can throw so, another dagger, or do you want to run up and attack it? So is it an, another full turn or another action? Another attack action. Another attack action. You can attack um, twice per turn. Okay, so so I don't get another bonus action. Or I haven't used my bonus you action. You haven't used your bonus action. You can use it to light your sword on fire. You can use it to enter a rage. Yeah, so I have to say, I whisper the command word to my rapier, because I have to wake it up. Okay. So I go, uh, Fusaville, wake the hell up! And then it lights it lights up. Uh, Suddenly the, the cold is cut through by this flaming sword that Bryce pulls out. Uh, and I'm going to try and backstab the Yeti. Okay, so I'm going to yeah. sneak behind the Yeti. And yep. yeah. Go ahead and attack. So roll, is that, roll, ahead, roll to hit. Roll to hit, please. Yeah. Advantage again or no advantage? You revealed your position by attacking, so just a regular roll. Yeah. 
Does, uh, yeah, so that's a 25. Definitely going to hit. Roll that damage. Okay. And remember to add... You don't add sneak attack again, but you are going to do the sword's damage. Yeah, so that's 9 plus 2d6. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 9 plus 3, so 12. 12 damage. Nice! You throw the dagger and almost at the same speed kind of like flash step along with it and uh, attack the Yeti. Its fur lights on fire. No! Um, it seems suddenly, while it was ready to attack Alvora, very concerned with putting the fire out on itself. That was a good decision. <sighs> I'm keeping this, by the way! <laughs> awesome. All right. It's Ren's turn. Ren is going to uh, run his full movement away from Drill Drill and say, uh, watch out! <laughs> he takes the um, tree trunk-shaped cannon off of his back it grows roots that plant into the ground so he has this cannon fixture turret in the ground basically and he's going to fuck? fire some green magical blasts at you oh my god um so that okay so i'm an acid dragon does that i mean i know it's not earth but does that anything uh does not affect this moment anything cool. um 27 and 19 i believe those both Sam. hit. Sam. yeah they both hit okay you are going to take ooh bad roll um so that's eight plus ten 18 points of piercing damage <clears throat> as he fires this cannon at you um and make a constitution saving throw for me please so top left, just click that con save. Too late, I'm rolling the die. Or that. I got a 20. All right. You, uh, as he fires his green magical blast at you, which stabs into your stomach, you can feel poison start to course through your body. You kind of take a deep inhale, and it doesn't take. Ooh, you're a tough mama, aren't you? Can you tell? Yeah, you know, of course I am. I've had 12 kids and I did I raised all of them by myself and I work in the Navy, you know? Oh, cool, cool. While you're talking, what's that over there? He's gonna bonus action hide. What's your passive perception? My perception is on uh, your on your sheet, um on the left side of it, there should be passive perception, passive inside. Passive uh, passive perception is 13. You no longer see him. He dives oh, into the no! snowstorm. How far away from them? Am I? Down, it's down the cliff. You do not see this happening. Okay, fair enough. No, uh, you might want to go help on your, on uh, your turn. Who knows? Uh, Irie's going to go next. Uh, Irie no longer sees Drill Drill and goes, Ren can handle that. Um, from her other arm, <laughs> another um, uh, elongated nails of branches and vines grow out, and she's going to run at uh, Bryce and make three attacks. That's going to be a... Ooh, that was a bad roll. Um, 14, 24, and 21. I think the 24 okay. and 21 hit. The 24 and 21 hit, but I am going to use... Um, the Uncanny Dodge for... For uh, one of the strikes. One, one right. of the attacks, yeah, okay. as a reaction. Okay. So each of those hits is going to deal... Ah, another bad roll. Each of those hits is going to deal 8 damage, so you take 16 points of damage. You can half one of them, so you only take 12 points of damage. Yep. Awesome. Um, cool. She slashes at you. You are able to kind of parry it by swinging your cloak. You seem like an adept fighter. The most adept. The adeptest. Thank you. Very nice. Uh... Sorry, Michael. What level barbarian are you at the top left? I'm a, four, I'm a I'm a fourth level barbarian. So, so you get yeah. you get extra attack at five. Oh, I see. So you only get one per turn. Okay. Yeah. But so that dagger could be one. the offhand attack. I'll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I totally got you. I just wanted to write it down. Yeah. Gotcha. Awesome. All right. Uh, that is Ivory's turn, slashing into you like that. Alvora, you're up. So I'm. How close am I to, to Bryce? We're all like right are, within melee. You are right the next. Yeti's right you are there, right you know? by Bryce. You are right by the Yeti. You are right by Irie. It's okay. just Drill, Drill, and Ren who are out of. How sight. hurt is the Yeti looking? Uh, it's taking some scratches. It's a big, healthy. Boy. Okay. Well, Alvora's gonna go. Well, 
Looks like, much like chivalry, diplomacy is dead. Jolene, let's teach him a lesson. And then I'm going to uh, bonus action spin two key points to uh, summon both the arms, body, and visage of my astral self. Okay, Ooh. please now, visually describe see, this. You see from uh, behind Alvora's shoulders, much like a stand from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, <laughs> this beautiful, uh, lithe, uh, feminine humanoid figure uh, uh, erupts from behind me, has a beautiful, flowing blonde hair that kind of just like waves and it's kind of like feathered like like 80s big hair and sh she looks like she has um like imagine a saint Seiya knights of the zodiac character she's got mm -hmm. like that kind of armor on that's kind of like a almost like a, a pegasus knight looking type deal mm -hmm. and um i'm going to then uh just lay into this uh, Yeti in front of me with uh, two attacks. Okay, yeah, go for it. Roll to hit, please. Um, one of them is going to be a six plus eight is 14 to hit. 14's not going to hit. Okay, and then the second one is also probably not going to hit because it's five plus eight, so that's only 13. Okay, as a monk, you have your bonus action attacks if you want. You have your flurry of blows if you I can flurry of blows even if I miss? Uh, as long... Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, I think as long as I make as an unarmed attack. As long as you make attack. an unarmed attack. Okay, so then I'm going to spend another key point to uh, flurry of blows. Let me go for it. That. Okay, those are definitely hitting. It's a 16 and a 17 on the die. There's no shot this Yeti doesn't get hit by that. Yeah, it, Plus just, eight. it definitely hits. Okay, so then that's going to be, um, let's see here. Oh, also, I'll, I'll roll the die, but before that, let me roll the 2d8 force damage that just happens yeah. from me summoning the, yeah, of the course. astral self. Um, that's going to be seven damage seven from damage. the... Okay. Uh, from it coming out, and then it's going to be, ooh, uh, eight plus four, 12 damage from the first strike, and then um, six from the second. Okay. So 12 plus six, 18 damage. Nice. 18 additional damage to the Yeti. Awesome stuff. Uh, this explosion, and then this ooh, da, 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 from your stand start like coming out, and bam, 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 bam slam into the Yeti. Good stuff. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's action and bonus action. And if I make uh, any moves, I could... Actually, you know what? I will try to um, get in a position to flank... Uh, what, what's the... Who's the one? Which twin is near us? Or which... Irie. The, the, um, Irie. I'm going to try yeah, to get around to Irie so that I can be in flanking yep, you with can do uh, so. Bryce. You can do so. Okay. Awesome. It's the abominable Yeti's turn. The Yeti whips its head around. It's not going to attack because it would have disadvantage because it's on fire. Oh, However, one, one more, yep. one more thing, one more thing. Sorry, I forgot that um, I also get an extra D8 okay. of damage. So oh six more God. damage on top yeah. of that. Six more damage. Six more damage. Fantastic. It's Twenty-four. Okay. Uh, the Yeti stares at you, Alvora. Please make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, 16. 16. You do not save. This is an abominable... It's higher than a 16? This is an abominable Yeti. This is a very high CR what? monster. This is not an easy session. You take 28 points of cold damage as the 28? Yeti just stares at you. A cold aura um, bursts through the air. As you make eye contact with it, um, the cold starts to chill you to your bones. You are paralyzed. Uh, I am going to actually take uh, 7 plus 4, 11 less damage because of the okay. deflect energy part of my astral self. Okay, so you take 17. 17, 17 damage. cold damage. But you are still paralyzed until you can make that saving throw. 17 or damage. unless you have some other way to get out of it. Paralyzed. And this is this was in a an attack? No. You made a saving throw. Okay. 
Uh, all right, that's the Abominable Yeti's turn. Drill, drill. You're up. Ren has vanished into the mist. All right, well, she's going to cast another Locate Creature for okay. him. Um, so she locates him. <laughs> Weirdly... Right? Weirdly, he's not on the ground. He is, like, about 50 feet up in the air, in the, in the uh, snow. Oh! And then... Hang on. <laughs> oh! Uh, you're up in the air! And that's all you see. And that's you all I the, see. Well, I know. In the air. I know where you are now. I see you. Which means you can target him, yeah. I'm gonna do a sweet. Let's just do that sacred flame. All right, he's gonna make a deck save. Yeah, baby. All right. Hopefully, he's just poorly. 17. Plus. Damn. Yeah, he's good. Also, Dex is his highest stat. That stinks. So, you. As you spot him and light the air with a burst of golden fire, um, you don't miss Ren, but your blast of, like, little, like, fire bending, like, punch cuts through the snowstorm. You see that Ren is riding on top of the giant bird that you all saw earlier. That's so sick. Uh, I can't. And he waves down at you. Hi, didn't quite get me. Maybe try again next time. Oh, this little scamp. Oh, I like you. You've got good ideas in your brain. Every oh, everyone, can they hear me? Uh, you can. Yeah, you can indicate your. You all saw the sacred flame. You all see that Ren is on top of the giant bird, which you all can identify as a rock. R O C. Uh, oh boy. This is a gargantuan-sized creature. This is a yeah, it is. big bird. I think he's the one we should keep, everyone. He's very smart and shifty. I like him. I like him. <laughs> All right, well, I can't move. Ideas. I can't move at the moment, so uh, let's put a pin in that one. We're cutting out his tongue if he talks too much, by the way. I don't want to deal with anyone shifty or smart or some other word. Nice. And swifty. Yeah, or Swifty. Yeah! All right. Uh, drill, drill. Anything else you're doing with your turn? Do you want to go back up the cliff, or are you down, like, staying there? Yeah, I'll go back up the cliff. Okay, easy enough for you. I don't, I don't, you don't even have to roll for it with your dragonborn claws and the fact that you're, like, one of the strongest people in the world. Easily, you hoist yourself back up to the top of the cliff. You see um, uh, Alvora and Bryce facing down the Yeti and Iris. Hello, ladies, I'm back. All right, well, if you don't mind, I am uh, caught between a Yeti and a hard place right now, and not in the fun way. Oh, I'm on my next attack. Don't worry, I've got you. All right, uh, Bryce, your turn. <laughs> um, I am going to take another swing at the Yeti. And is, is Alvora, like, within five feet? Yeah, of the so Yeti you, you have well, advantage I on the attack. Sneak. Advantage, okay, and I get sneak attack. Cool. Yep. You crit, okay. also all that, all those die double, including the sneak attack die. Cool. Somebody gotta roll. Yeah, uh, 19. Gotta roll 19's gonna hit, yeah, roll that okay. damage. Damage uh, plus sneak attack. Okay. Uh, 28 plus five. Uh, oh my God, actual eight. So 13 plus 2d6. Okay. Which is four. Uh, and five plus five, so that's, uh, 13 plus five. 18. Plus, thank you. And then 46, I'm just gonna do it once. Six plus 24. 18 plus 24 damage. Yeah, and then, did you say it crits or no? Only on a natural 20. Oh, okay, right. Then that yeah. doubles. 18 right. plus 24 is 42. So stupid. 42, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, he's looking third and hurt at this point. So, Bryce is taking the the flame up here and be like, you know, you 64 a... damage. Oh no, oh, no, 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 never mind, never mind. Some of that was uh, Alvora's last. Yes. Time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Stop. And then uh, Bryce, looking way more pissed off, this thing has not gone down one hit yet. Goes, why don't you be a good little pet and heal and and battle rages? Awesome. So on battle rage, um, 
A huge flame erupts from her. The Yeti takes two damage. That's unmitigatable. And so does everyone else. And so does everyone else, yeah. Uh, Everyone just takes two fire damage. As a um, flaming sword in Bryce's hand, just her anger is so great that fire starts bursting around. Irie takes two damage. The Yeti takes two damage. uh, And Alvora takes two damage. Bryce, damn it! I just got this fucking suit! This thing will go down! You're paying for this. I, that, I don't have money. You're a vice at what the hell do you mean you don't have We're liquor? Putting another pin in it. We're gonna put another goddamn pin in it. Uh, all right. And to the question in the chat from Paul, that does not unfreeze Alvora, unfortunately. Oh, I'm frozen? You are, no, you're paralyzed. So that's oh. why I'm like, it doesn't, the fire does not break it. Very, oh, yeah, very, enough. very smart, though it is not Pokemon rules on this ability. <laughs> if yeah. only. Um, anything else, Bryce? That is action and bonus action. Jesus Christ, this Yeti is looking horrid. Uh, just Vice what? Admiral stuff, one of the scariest creatures in the known world. You are blasting it to smithereens just with two of you. It just stared at me and I'm paralyzed. These things are scary. Oh my god. Uh, eh, they're not that bad. I'm um, remembering Gerald, the Yeti I dated in high school. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, it's it's Ren's turn. Um, the rock swoops by. Um, you all see a glowing green light from the top of the rock. Um, you see that um, Ren's cannon has wrapped its vines around the chest of the rock, so he's kind of using it as a big mounted gun. What the fuck is Every, this cannon? Uh, make a dexterity saving throw, both of you. Uh, Us? Oh yeah. shit. I am, am I, I'm not blinded or deafened, right? You are not. I am getting advantage. Yes, you are. Do you Do have I? advantage? I don't, I don't think I have advantage uh, on dex saves. I'm proficient, but I don't think I have advantage. Okay, so 16? Uh, 16, what's his... Does not beat it. You take the full damage. Okay, wait, I don't. Um, oh, I'm gonna use my reaction to have the damage. Okay, good uh, idea. And I'm also going to... Actually, no, I'm not gonna use my reaction to have that because on a effect that makes me have to take a deck saving throw, I take... Uh, oh, wait, yes, yeah, so I take half damage mm-hmm. if I fail. I take another half because of uncanny dodge. Okay. The corner. Okay. So what? Two. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, you can you can resolve him first. I have. A what ca- what kind of damage is it by the way? That's this one of my questions. This is force damage. Okay. Okay. I don't have. I don't. That rage does not relate. No. Right. It's not. Okay. So I'm just taking a quarter damage or whatever. That's okay. Um, one does a uh seventeen save. No, it does not. Okay. Well, then in that case, um, because it's force damage, I, however much damage it is, subtracts 10 from it. Okay. Jesus Christ. Also, oh. also, does this count as a missile that can be deflected or no? No, it does not. Copy that. Uh, so, Alvora, you take 20 points of force damage, and you take 8, uh, Bryce. The Yeti has to roll, because he doesn't care. I'm literally half a shit. Uh, I'm Yeti, about to beat everybody's ass. The Yeti takes the full 30 damage. Uh, what? And is on death's door. Um, <laughs> Ren fires his black. <laughs> um, Irie, does, Irie is not caught in the blast. However, you are, and so is the Yeti. The Yeti's leg is suddenly gone, and it falls down. Um, oops. Sorry. Um... As he, like, continues flying around, Irie, like, snaps up. Brother, what are you doing? I'm just trying to make this quick. And, uh, that's Ren's turn. Irie's up next. Irie's gonna go for the paralyzed person, so all these attacks are gonna have advantage. Um, Irie, like, slides around Bryce. Um, she's making eye contact with you, and then she suddenly turns around. Uh, suddenly the disrespect ignoring you to attack Alvora. Three times. Hey! All of these, actually, it's going to be straight rolls because I have a cloak of displacement, so you'd normally have disadvantage. Okay, so that is 24. Is this an opportunity attack or no? No. 24, okay. 25, and 18. Do any of Jesus fucking Christ. Well, 18 is my armor class, so, so they, if it's hitting 18, then all of them hit me, yes. Also, um, Julian, fix your, do um, a hand thing as well. Oh, yes. Focus. 
Focus on my face. By the power. Okay. By the power. Where's uh, the loot? What does she man? attack with the D12? Cool. Just where's the loot? Oh, if only I had fucking. Well, I guess I only okay. had one turn. So I That's um, eleven. Twelve. Eleven. And sixteen. So eleven plus twelve plus sixteen, thirty-nine. Right. Jesus Christ. Thirty-nine points of slashing damage. Okay, I'm unconscious. She slashes <sighs> across Alvora. Good news, you're not uh, on. You're not um. Jesus fucking Christ! You're not, uh, I got one fucking turn. You're not paralyzed anymore. So if you're revived, you are not paralyzed anymore. But yeah. I sh I should hope so. All right. So, um, Bryce, you see three quick slashes oh against God. Alvora before she falls to the ground. And Irie just kind of like turns around, not even like oh, yeah. turning all the way to face you. She goes, you're next. I better be, come here. Awesome. All right, and Irie um, took a little bit of damage from your fire. You see that those wounds patch up. Seems she recovers a little bit of HP per turn. Um, Alvora, make a death saving throw. The two, that is a fail. All right, Farkoff one failure. It is the Abominable Yeti's turn. I think it's going to attack Bryce because you have fire and it does not like fire. So, can you give me a constitution saving throw, Bryce? Yeah. Uh, uh, 17? 17 does not succeed. Mm, that'd be odd. You are going to take, Bryce. Oh, you're lucky. This 10 to 8 only ended up being 29. 29 points of cold damage. Uh, I I have cold resistance. Oh. And uh, I have a, like a ring of cold. Um, oh, okay. So like a ring of warming. 15? And, and I'm also going to use my... Oh, wait. Does this not... Can I not do... You can do it once per round. And I already did dodge. it. I already did it before from yeah. the big blast. So okay. 15 points of damage. Okay. Uh, the Yeti does a cold breath. Uh, it's almost down, this Yeti. Um, drill Drill? Alvora's unconscious. Yes. Um, well, I'm first gonna do some... I'm gonna play my little pipes of haunting to that rock guy. The rock guy? Oh, the, the bird. I mean, yeah, the rock bird. You okay, know. um, what saving throw is it? It is DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Okay, I... Just a second. Mm -hmm. And it's, well, it is anyone within. Oh, you lucky. Yeah, the rock fails. So it is the Yeti. Irie succeeds. So the Yeti and the rock cannot move any closer to you. So as the rock is circling you, um, uh, the rock suddenly cannot get any closer for Ren to aim. And he's like, hey, what? What's going on? Oh, oh, you sneaky mama. Oh, yes. You know, I've learned so many lullabies having, you know, 12 children. And, oh, one of my favorites, Lula. She loves these pipes. She loves them so much. Incredible. It's so strange. She just, she's never scared of anything. And this just puts her right to sleep. I love it. Um, nice. But yes, I'm also going to do a healing word to Alvora. Oh. Okay. So 3d4. Whoa. Four, 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 three, four. One. We got four. Eight. Nine. Oh. Twelve. 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 Alvora's up with 12 HP. No longer paralyzed. Very nice. Uh, Alvora, life suddenly returns to you as this arcane energy comes out of Drill Drill's hands. You're back up. And you're no longer paralyzed. Drill Drill, if you're doing anything else? Oh, you know. Are you I are you moving run... into combat range? Are you staying Yeah, away? I'm going to start going a little closer, but not too, you know, okay. I don't want to get in the middle of it. Okay, yeah, Get you're close. kind of like posing a threat so they might not go for Alvora as easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Defending Alvora, yeah. All right. 
Bryce, uh, do you have to take an action to pick up a thrown weapon? I'll say that you have enough daggers on you that you just... Probably, okay. You probably have, like, four that you just keep, like, strapped across your chest. Okay. I ask mainly for, like, two weapon fighting stuff, stuff like yeah. that. You, okay. you have... You have for, for this fact that you're a vice admiral, you probably have, like, basically infinite daggers just on you. Cool. Considering that's okay. kind of your thing. Um, cool, cool. And this is a big turn, because Ren and Irie are going to go next before Alvora does. Okay, so... Uh, do I have advantage on the the Yeti, or no? Yes, you do. I do? Cool. Okay. So... The big scaredy cat right now. Uh, 15, or... Uh, so, 21? 21's gonna hit. Roll that damage. Awesome. Cool. If you so, do more than six, it's dead. <laughs> okay. There is no shot. I literally do two... Okay, so... Do you I'll want to describe how you... How do you want to do this on the Abominable Yeti? Uh, I... It's, like, on the ground at this point, right? Yeah, it's, like, on the ground, like, it's last breath of life. <laughs> writhing and gnashing around. All right. I'm... Uh, I like stand over it, like rapier over my my shoulder, and I'm like, "You're really starting to piss me off," and like slice it, like neck to neck, so just the head back, and awesome. like skewer it on top of the rapier, and I'm like, "Mine for later," and like throw it to the side, and I'm gonna use my bonus action to throw a dagger. Actually, I'm just gonna stab. Um, Irene. The... Yes. Yeah. Roll to hit. Okay. Uh, no advantage, right? Or no. I'll allow advantage. Yeah, okay. Alvora's up. Yeah. Oh, right. You're right. Right. Fuck. Uh, thirteen. Not gonna do it. Uh, gonna do it. you slay the yeti, and then as you come up at Irie with the dagger, she catches it between her branch-like hands. Uh, the pain. You thought this would be easy. I thought oh. you seemed to be someone who liked combat. Uh, uh, mm, uh, am, mm, am I to mm. think that the Navy's best are nothing but cowards? Uh, she looks like she's, like, suddenly getting riled up. Her hair, which is constantly changing uh, from orange to yellow, suddenly turns a vibrant red. Oh, did she just call us cowards? That's Bryce, not like, true. takes the, the dagger that missed, she, like, does the work and, like, throws it away. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, that's Bryce's turn. Ren's up. Ren seems incredibly irritated that the rock is refusing to get closer. Not letting him get a closer shot. He's like, oh, Fine. Uh, he's going to jump off the rock into the snow and attempt to hide. And falls on his ass. Oh my god! Ow! Ow! Uh, he's going to take um, 3d6. He's going to take 9 points of damage. Ooh, bad idea! Dumb bird, sorry, didn't mean it. Ow! He stands back up. Um, but he takes his cannon out, uh, and he's going to fire at Bryce. Uh, oh, no. He, he takes two shots. Ooh, natural 18, but does a 15 hit. A, a, an 18 or a what? The 18, the 28 hits does a, okay. does a 15 hit. No. Okay. So you are only going to take... I'm going to use... Uh, oh, good talk. Oh, good. Also, like, you're, you're raging, so you are not going to take full damage because this is just piercing damage, by the way. Oh, it's brilliant? Okay. Um... 11, half to 6, uh, 12, half to 6. Okay, so you take 12 points of piercing damage. At, boom, boom. Um, he fires these two uh, blasts at you. Um, yeah, 12 points of damage. And uh, make a constitution saving throw for me, cool. please. Fuck, 8. You shrug off the actual impact, however, suddenly... You feel like a sudden, like, breathing in your uh, insides, basically, as you are poisoned. Uh, attacks will have disadvantage until you're able to make that con save. Uh, this too? Sorry. Uh, you're next. That's Ren's turn. Irie is going to keep attacking Bryce. Actually, she's going to throw uh, an attack at Alvora to make sure she stays down. Alvora does a 28 hit. All right. Alvora, you take eight points of uh, slashing damage. Oh, Ooh, you're, I can't hear, can't hear you. Yeah, you're muted. Get your microphone oh, fixed up, my friend. Yeah, microphone's being a little... Mm. Ew, ew, ew. 
Can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Um, I fucked up because I was actually, when I had to make that deck saving throw, mm -hmm. I have evasion and I didn't realize that I did, so I would have taken half that damage, which might have not oh. even made me go unconscious, but it's fine. It, it already happened. I can just give you, that, that did 30 damage. Just take 15 more HP. Okay. Um, a 28 does, does hit, yes. 28 does hit. Uh, you take you 8 said. points of damage, um, but you get that 15 back, so just give yourself 7 HP. From where you're okay. Right um and you said does a what was the other one she only was it just one she attack? only attacked you once um, okay, okay. And then the other healed me. the other two will go for bryce uh 26 and 11. so the 26 is gonna hit yeah i'm gonna use um evasion or sorry not evasion uh uncanny dodge you take five half to three because you're raging three damage Ooh. bryce is uh Bryce is your tank, y'all. I recommend staying uh. behind Bryce. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, the slashes do uh, just a little bit of damage to each of you. Uh, Irie is max HP, so she does not heal. Um, not a scratching pose. Come on! Alvora, you're up. Uh, Alvora's going to crack her knuckles and say, Oh, oh, sweetheart. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to teach you some fucking manners, and then I'm gonna uh, make two attacks, which I believe should have advantage since there's some flankage happening right now. Mm -hmm. I am offering a flankage. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Um, that's a 16 plus eight. Definitely I gonna think hit. Yeah. Hit. Okay, and the other one is um a 15. 15 is not gonna. Okay, so uh, only one of them is going to hit okay. on the first two attacks, and then it's going to be uh, terrible. Three okay. damage plus, there we go, another eight from the um, nice. Astral Self Force damage, and then I'm going to Flurry of Blows awesome. to attack and, again. And you also have Stunning Strike. You got a patient. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, and you know what? Before before the Flurry of Blows, we're going to we're gonna get into the Flurry of Blows, but let's just say the people <laughs> I just checked off is for the Stunning Strike. DC 16 con save DC to not be stunned. DC 16 con save. I'm so sorry. She got literally a 16. Okay, well, we're gonna no spend uh, another key point. So that, that was close. If you can stun in. her, this is huge. Let me see here. Oh, natural fucking twenty on one my of my goal! Oh, oh, fucking goal! Oh. That's my goal. And then uh, a dirty twenty on the second. Okay, one. yeah, I'll do it. And you can, okay. if you so desire, stunning strike on these. Her con is good. But if mm -hmm. she fails, she's stunned. So, you know, here go. Okay, so oh my for, God, for the my natural 20 pressure. is um, 12 damage. Die. Okay, 12, nice. And then um, another key point to stunning strike again on uh, okay. the first of the second two. I have two, so technically I could do you, two, but let's see if the... only one is needed. He rolled a natural three. Even, yes. with, even with the fact that she is a tank, a natural three is not going to do it. Your, your astral self punches into her. There is a moment where you kind of like forcibly astral project Dr. Strange her before her body sucked <laughs> in. And she is dizzy by that attack. She is now stunned, meaning on her turn she cannot act and all attacks against her will have advantage. Uh, and then I'm going to... Um... No, you know what? Yeah, I will... Big turn I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna say to her uh, after uh, I hit the strikes, I'm just like, "Oh, darling, I'm just getting started. This could have been diplomatic, but now, well, I'm gonna have to put you in your place." Uh, she just growls. All right, next in the order, uh, the Rock is going to try to break the pipes of haunting saving throw. What does it have to be? Uh, one. Oh my God, I forgot you pipes of haunting did. Second, it, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. It's DC 15. What type of saving throw? Oh, oh, oh what type, what type? Wisdom. I need to be a wise Natural bird. 18. Uh, the I, rock, apparently it is a wise bird. The rock is able to get closer. Up, and it takes the abominable Yeti's place, and it's going to start attacking Bryce. It's going to make two beak attacks and one talon attack against you. What kind of damage are those? Are they, are they gonna? You are. They are going to be halved. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Um, does a 15 hit? Nope. How about... How about a 30? Yeah. Okay. 30? How, why, how dare you even ask him? <laughs> you, it, it, no, it is a fair question. No, it's, it's, I have a high AC. <laughs> okay. You take 17 points of slashing damage, half to nine. Yay. And Bryce, you are grappled by the rock. And I'm grappled? The rock mm -hmm. is going to fly... 70 oh. feet into the air, oh. holding Bryce. Uh, the rock is not able to connect with its beak, but its talon wraps around you and oh, it oh, just flies oh, you oh. into the air. Uh, 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 you are 70 hello. feet above the ground, uh, being held in the talons of this gargantuan bird, and y'all, your tank is uh, above you. I restunned, but you are left alone. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. What, so... Would the... You can make an opportunity attack against it. Yeah, I was going to say, if yeah. the rock tried to make an opportunity... Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, let me do that then. I mean, yeah, if you stun it, this won't happen. Um, Nine plus eight, 17. It hits. Yep. Oh, okay. baby! Um, And then How much uh, that's going to be... Not so six plus four, 10 damage. 10 and damage. I don't need to stun it because I got Sentinel. <gasps> so it can't move. Nope. Tanks on the yeah. ground, baby. Holy That's my shit. action. Oh, You're going, go. bird brain. Holy shit, never mind then. Uh, the rock tries to take off and then bam, you slam it. Oh, that's sick. Y'all, you messed with my plan. I was going to have the rock like swoop up and drop you. And... Yeah. Shouldn't have knocked me oh, unconscious, motherfucker, when we one turn. The rock is like, you guys, statistically speaking, should be able to take on one rock and do pretty well. You're basically taking on three. Uh, and the fact that you had Sentinel to stop it from flying away with Bryce. Yes, sir. Huge. Awesome. I'm, I'm like looking at Bryce and doing like the, like the from across the bar. You're looking at, at yourself? Or are you looking at Alvora? <laughs> no, no, look, looking at Alvora. Being okay. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Yo, Bryce that's pulls out a mirror. Huge. Actually, like Johnny Bravo style, like, damn, I'm pretty. You're, uh, <laughs> you, uh, oh my God, this backfires against me so bad. Because the rock so can, sick. the rock can attack with its talons as long as it's not grappling a creature. It's still holding on to Bryce, so she can't move. But it can't use its talons to attack anymore until wow. Am I like grappled and then I can't make an attack? Or I just can't move. You just can't move. You just okay. can't move. Okay, top of the order, drill, drill. That's huge, okay. Malik. Good, Malik. Good you're stuff. God. That was the cool that thing I've ever seen in D and D. Oh my God. Right. I was ready to be like, I can't get out of this. Like, this is, like, devastating. I mean, you could chop it up a bunch. Until also, it you could probably you. take the falling damage. You're a barbarian. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, like, I'm actually pretty low. Like, oh, no. I'm, like, I'm at half HP for barbarian. All right, Drill Drill, you're up. What are you doing? I just un What? Okay, go ahead. Just, just for recap. I stunned. There's a rock grappling Bryce, and Ren is... Uns he didn't successfully hide. He's off with his cannon. Oh, I'm going to go up to Irie. Okay. And sheathe my rapier... All right, you can attack stealing. twice with advantage. And I go, oh, honey, I'm sorry I decided to save your brother and not you. So, I, you know, I take it back. I'm not sorry for this. Right. <laughs> attack twice with advantage. 18. 18 just hits. Okay, and then the other one. Ooh, a natural one. Yeesh. <gasps> no. All right, so uh, damage for that, 18. With advantage? Yeah, with it. Oh wait, two attacks. Two attacks. Yeah, each both of them, them have advantage. advantage. Oh, okay. She, then no. Then okay. Good. We're still good. Cause she We're is still stunned. Good. Cause she is stunned. Okay, that is a seventeen. Is not going to hit. Not going to happen. And that's a sixteen. Yeah. So one attack hits. That's one okay. Attack. One that's attack. Cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's uh, cute. One d eight. Sorry. Just a cute little. A cute, sweet, <laughs> sweet little. <laughs> what got... are these sounds? Thirteen. 13 damage. That's nice. I'll also say, you haven't given anyone bardic inspiration yet, if you want to. Oh my god! Oh, I got my bonus action. Okay. <laughs> As I'm, like, stabbing her, you can see, like, color going back into her cheeks. Oh! Your life feels so good, honey! So young! Elven life feels the best, but, uh... <laughs> that was my whistle. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't do it now. No, please do it. You have to do the full whistle. Okay. Alvora! Alvora, hey, look at me, honey. Look at me. Yeah. Yeah. 
You want some inspiration, my I, You know, I really could use some because uh, my favorite ring has got a scratch on it from this little cunt. She Whoa! is, isn't she? <laughs> Don't worry, here I go. Here you go, honey. All right. Inspiration. D10, inspiration. You can use it that for da- to add to damage, too. I will keep uh, that she's in mind. Valid. All right. Bryce, your turn. Irie am is I, stunned. Am I in range to hit Irie even though I'm grappled? Yes, you are. Oh, it's gonna be so this funny. This is so funny that you're attacking while I'm gonna be like, in the talons of I, the rock. I literally, as it happened, I go around, I'm like, can you give me one second? And then, <laughs> uh, does a uh, 17 hit? Fortunately, no. Did you roll with advantage? Okay, I have uh, yeah, advantage. Okay. Fuck. Uh, 11. So, no. I am so sorry. Uh, can I use, so is it an action or a bonus action to make out a grapple? It is an action, unfortunately. Um, so I, what am I, I think, I think, yeah. You're a rogue. It says dash, it, for bonus action, it says dash, um, yeah, dash, dash disengage, disengage and hide. Yeah, unfortunately, it, it is an action well. to break No, because gra- grapple. grapple teams are more like strength oriented yeah. anyway. These I mean, like you can use, action. you can use acrobatics to break out of a grapple. But, um, yeah. but it, it is a- an action, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, so on my bonus action, I think I'm going to... Yeah, why not? I'm just going to uh, reignite my aura again. So I'm okay, everyone takes two damage. Except for Drill Drill. God damn it! Let Bryce! me go! And then, like, flames come out from her again. Bryce, if you burn my fucking suit one more time, I'm gonna let the rock take you back to its nest. You hear me? Buy a better suit! All right. It is Ren's turn. He is going to target uh, Drill Drill. <laughs> this guy's done four uh, damage to Natural me. one oh, and a natural wait, five. Wait, uh, uh, Julian, I think we're supposed to roll con for poison. Oh, yeah, yeah. Try to break out that poison. Okay. Uh, 12, I'm guessing now. 12, now is... Uh, did you add oh. your con saving throw? Top left uh, saving throws? Yeah, it was, it was a 5 plus 7. Shit, yeah. So wait, uh, question. So uh, those should have so, been straight attack rolls. That's okay, we forgot. Not attack, not advantage. So it's like, I have advantage, but I have disadvantage. So it would so neutralize, it's... yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't do... No, wait, no. Sneak attack wouldn't matter. Yep, sorry. Okay. And Ren wasted his turn because he was not able to connect with Drill Drill. All right. Irie's going to try to break out of the stunning strike. She can't break out of it. She's just stunned until stunned the end of my next, next turn. turn. Okay. Yeah, she's still fucking stunned, little. Now <laughs> Boring is so sick. I'm furious. All right. Uh, she just snarls at you, Alvora, um, as she recovers 10 HP, as like bits of bark and leaves starts to patch up the wounds before they uh, disapparate into orange. And through clenched teeth, she says, the autumn court will have your head. I look forward to it. And the it, Autumn Court? And that is Alvora's turn. Oh, Alvora's you mean that's turn? whatchamacallit's turn? No, that was Irie's turn. She couldn't break out of it. So no. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's my turn now. Oh, I didn't that. Is, oh, okay. I was like, is. I didn't even get the to do anything. The Autumn Court? Apparently. Ah! Um, Let me see here. Can I ask a quick question? Dialogue and stuff like that. It, in combat. Is that an action, bonus action, or I like action? to think talking is a free action as long as it's not like a literal monologue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, so like, can I still like roll checks, all that kind of stuff for talking? Oh, checks are an action. Like, yeah, like if I was trying to like persuade, intimidate, that kind of stuff. That yeah, is that's that's an action if you're trying to that's consciously what that. affect combat. Got it, got it. Okay, cool. Like get information out of someone, stuff like that. Yep, that's... Okay. Yeah. All an action, cool. Anything that requires a roll. Uh, Alvor, what are you doing? I'm attacking her. Uh, 17 on the die for the first one. Not plus gonna do eight. It. Oh, that's gonna do it. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no shot of fucking 17 plus eight doesn't hit. And then um, 14 plus eight is 22. I believe that will. That also will, hit. yeah. Okay, so I'm um, gonna be. Oh, hell yes. Uh, 12 damage on the first strike, okay. plus another one force damage from the astral self. Okay. And then... You're chipping her down. Uh, another um, 11 damage. Okay. And I'm going to... Uh, Are you stunning spend, again? Uh, yes, I'm going to spend a, a key point to okay. try and re-stun her. She needs to get an 11. That's a 12. 
So mm. 17. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use yet another key point to Flurry of Blows. Okay. Don't forget you have that part of Inspiration. Oh, that's true, yeah. In case you need to add to that damage or, or yeah. uh, try to make something just barely hit. That's So that's only, it can't be used for attack rolls, right? It only can. for damage? It oh, can it can? It can be used okay. for both, because she's valid. Oh, perfect, okay, okay. Um, seven. Fuck it, I'll use it now. Because seven plus eight is... 15. 15, which won't hit, so let's see. Uh, 50 plus four is 19, is it 19 That hit? hits, yeah, it beats okay, her 18. Okay, so that one is gonna hit. My inspiration is gone, but it was well worth it. Okay. And then that's going to be um, a 13 plus eight is 20, wait. 21? 21? Is 13 it 21? plus eight is 21, yeah. 13 plus eight is 21, okay, perfect. So both of those will hit. Um, then we're going to, okay, that's another 11 damage for the first hit. And okay. then um, five damage for the second hit. Okay, so five, nice. Yes, and I'm going to spend one last key point. Uh, I could use two, but I'm just gonna try once uh, with the flurry of blows to try to stun her again. Okay. That is a success. Mm. She, Irie is stunned again. Yes! Uh, right as she breaks out of it, boom, 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 she's stunned again. Um, great turn, Alvora. Okay, uh, and then that's it for me, yeah. Uh, the rock is gonna attack Bryce. Only can do so with its beak because it's grappling you, and that's a natural three. Wait, plus no. 13? Does 16 hit? Uh, no. Never mind. Plus 13 to right. hit is bananas. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like slapping the beak out of the way. She's like, do, do, do. I'm like, please, come on. All right, top of the turn, drill, drill. Drill, um, drill moment. I want to try to blind boy. Okay. I want to try to blind boy. Okay, he Very casual. What like, saving throw? Constitution. He rolled a natural four, and believe it or not, as the ranged attacker, he's not very good at it. Uh, Ren, like, is readying his cannon for another blast, and then all of a sudden... Ah, oh! What did you do to me? Oh, I mean, your aim was too good, and uh, you seem maybe a little too important, in my opinion, especially that you started saying Autumn Corps. Or, does that mean you guys are in charge of seasons? Yeah, no, we're, we got to take at least one of them in, y'all. No, we're, not, we're not in charge of anything. We left it all behind. Yeah, but that means you are still. I mean, I think your parents would take you back in. I would take my children back in. But anyway, anyway, I'm also going to hate. Hey, friends. Close your nose. Oh wait, no, don't close your nose. That's an action, not a bonus action. So just kidding. I'm what closing you, them. What are you doing? Nothing, because that was a, that was an action. Okay. Um, but I am gonna do. Oh. You can give another bardic. You can do a little heal. You got options. Oh shit! Yeah, no, I just realized the one I was gonna do is not a. Bardic. Oh yeah, you could give uh, oh. Bryce a bardic to get out of the fucking grapple. No, I'm going to. I was gonna heal first, but the one I thought. I was gonna oh, use not a bonus action because I was gonna do the like big big boy where we're all gonna. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, blinding right. him is still very good. That's right. great, actually. Like huge, huge. Yes, drill, oh, drill. I, I no, you can unplug your nose. Oh. Guess what? Here's some here's some inspiration, my love. Oh, that's that's very kind. It's Thank in the you. shape of a cookie, an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. I do like those. Don't you feel better? I do feel better. Better than this guy. He's blind now. <laughs> You're yeah, blind. This, this bitch is stunned, you little. Uh, uh, you you all see Ren like like trying to like scratch at his eyes to try and like get the blindness off of him. Oh God! Uh, you see that in the stress there are flowers blooming and wilting on his arm on his green arm. Spring court. Uh, These little fuckers gotta go. No, they might be my cousin. I'm we not, that that not your cut, not your cousin. No, nope. drill, drill. I'm nope. just Addy talking. Drill, drill. Gotta no. take her out. Gotta take, take her, her out. out. Gotta take her. Everything's right, coming so up. Drill, turn. drill. You have a Ooh. bardic inspiration. A d10 okay. to add to damage or checks. I'm gonna add to. Uh, can I do it after the roll, or do I have to do it? Before? You can do it anytime. Hell yeah! So I get advantage. Oh, so I'm, I'm still poisoned, so it's a normal yep, roll. Normal roll, hit, right? Damn it. All right, that didn't hit. Um, Unfortunate, but 
you, you have your offhand attack with your dagger and the, so do i can i only use my offhand if it hits or no the, you can oh use your offhand it's taking as long the as attack attacking. yeah so you attack cool. with your sword you can attack with your other weapon okay dagger dagger moment dagger time that's what uh, Matt does as the. Wow, not one? Oh, oh, shit. Dude, you're not able to do it, but let's see that saving throw oh. to resist the poison. Let's see it. Let's see 17. it. 17. 17 will do it. Nice. No longer poisoned. Uh, the... Bryce takes a swig of acetone again, and it's like. Oh, yeah. my God. Why are you yep. <laughs> acetone? His poison <laughs> is only a either 14 or 15 save. It's his. um. Blast that has the eighteen. The uh -huh, okay. Yeah, because he he's mainly a blaster, not a like subterfuge person. So I'm out of I'm out of the poison. You are no longer poisoned. Yeah, that's good. good I feel good. That, hmm. Oh wait, can I have wait with the uh, with my second action? Can I use the bardic inspiration on the roll? Oh yeah, you can use a bardic inspiration on one of the. Okay. Um, to make them hit. Can I use bardic inspiration on the the main attack? What what did you get? Do you remember what it was for? Um. Oh my god. You're gonna have to remember uh, for it to be fair. Yeah, the second one. The second, second one was a natural, natural one. one. The first yeah. one, what was it like? A sixty? Did you say it out loud? Um, it was an eleven. Okay, so you'd need. Are you aiming for the rock or Irie? You might be able to with the D10 hit, but up to you. <laughs> I'm gonna aim for the rock. That's fine, me. Okay. Yeah. So, so roll a D10. Roll a D10 and add it to that eleven. You're gonna need at least okay. a four. Incredible, a two. <laughs> no. Oh, you fail. Andrew this still grappled. Cookie is stale. He's still grappled. All yeah. right. Uh, it's Ren. Oh, you rolled to get out of poison. I thought you got out of the grapple. Oh fuck. Ren is uh, blinded. And he goes, sister, sister, I can't see. He's gonna make that saving throw. This is like sad. <laughs> natural, natural four. Uh, so he doesn't do it. He's attacking with disadvantage. We're the villains! He I don't get I in the zone! I can't, I can't feel bad. He I'll, doesn't I'll, even I'll, know where to aim. Uh, I'll, if, if one of these hits, I'm going to roll a d6 to see which one of you he black. This is okay. disadvantage. That is a... It's a 16 to hit... Alvora? Nope. And his second one with the disadvantage from just kind of blasting around wildly is a... Ooh, that is a 21. And it's going to hit Alvora. Sorry. Oh, uh, what the fuck? All right. And that was with disadvantage. You got a twenty-one. My God. Thirteen points of piercing damage. Oh my. As one of his random Lord. shots hits you and make a Constitution saving throw. Piercing you damage, you say? Yep. Oh, hold on. And at a disadvantage. This is already. something that can be deflected with deflect missiles. Oh well, then I'm gonna fucking do that shit. Hold on. This is a monk ability that only works on ranged attack rolls. Uh, what is it? Alvor is so cool. Yeah, Alvor is the sickest. <laughs> Imagine like st like oh my god, getting a bird off the top, yo. When gets monks, all the bonuses and the when, when monks are going, they are stunning. They are zipping all over the battlefield. Yeah, I literally. That's why I was like, damn, it sucks that I got one they turn just, and then went fucking unconscious. They just don't want to get hit. And then you and then you woke up and like concussed the bird. <laughs> I was. Furious. Yes, you are like a glass cannon that instead of doing a ton of damage does a ton of everything else Okay, so well, I, like monk, I so was gonna well. I was gonna say oh damn this sucks because it's a, a d10 Plus something and I only got a one on the die, but it's a d10 plus 16 So I reduce however much damage that is by 17. Do you want to use the key point to throw it back? I would love to. Raw, go, Alvora, go. This is a blast of green energy that kind of like forms an arrow. Please describe how you throw it back at Ren. Um, I'm still looking at this bitch who knocked me unconscious. Um, and I just, because my passive perception is 23, I can hear the arrow coming and I'm just going to uh, hold up a hand and uh, just flick it upwards and then um, Still looking at the whatchamacallit, think uh, Kizaru just like bend down and say, I'll be right with you. And then I just kick it like, like fucking, like kick yep. up into the fucking air and then it sends the arrow flying right back. Awesome. Uh, it flies Aww. back at Reddit, blasts, uh, and he tumbles in the snow. Ugh. Does it do damage back? Yeah, it dealt it the, full, no. the full 13 damage to him. Oh, he needs to make a con save to see if he's poisoned. 
Oh, oh my, my god, god. yeah! Which he is. He yeah. poisoned <laughs> and he is blinded. I'll, I'll write MVP. MVP of tonight. Ooh, what the hell? She's my, the god god of all my kids. <laughs> all right. Uh, all my kids when I die. That was Ren's turn. Irie is stunned. She heals 10 HP, as always. Um, Alvora, it's your turn. Okay, well It's now then. actually your turn. Now it's yeah, actually yeah, after my turn. Yeah, after doing like 99 other things. Uh, yeah. truly, I'm gonna make two attacks which have some juicy advantage. Okay, uh, that's gonna be a natural 19 yeah, for do it. a whole bunch. Yep. And then the second one's gonna be, uh, the second one might not hit. What's a seven plus eight? That's a 15. 15, that's not going to No, 16. Hit, 16, that ain't going to hit, unfortunately. 15. Yeah, it is 15. Yeah, I was um, right first. I just second-guessed myself. First one's going to be yourself. 9 damage plus another 5 Who are you uh, targeting? extra force. The stunned person beneath me. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, Irie, yeah. Yeah, so Irie. 9 nine plus 5 for 14 damage for the uh, those... First two strikes plus the um, bonus force damage. Okay. And then um, I'm getting low on key points though, y'all. I'm getting low. Yeah, I'm another thing. Cool monks shit, have but... limited resources and they stop being as um, cool. Let's see here. I want to, okay. I'm going to spend one to try and restun her again. Okay. She needs an 11. Got a 12 again. 17, yep. Okay. He's not stunned. Um, then I am going to... So I have my bonus action. Um... Question about grappling. Is, is there any way for me attacking the person who's grappling the uh, my friend to like drop them or release the grapple or is it only a check that the person who's grappled it is a, can it make? It is a check that they have to make. You okay, so use, me the, punching the, the rock th wouldn't do anything. No, the closest thing is you could use a help action which would take your action that turn to yeah, assist okay. on uh, Bryce's check to get out of it. Okay. Um, then I am going to End my turn. I've only got two key points left, so I want to be very Okay, sparing. you've done all your attacks. You've done your bonus action attack. You've done it all. Yes. Well, not my bonus action attack. I have two just regular attacks, but I didn't flurry of blows this time. I just used one. Don't to try you to just have a anymore. bonus action unarmed strike every turn as a monk? Do I? I think I, think I certainly um, might. That I simply think... sounds like Yeah, a... you do. I And then I'm going to yeah. bonus yeah. section yeah. attack this bitch again. Yeah. Uh, for 17 plus 8. Yeah, roll that for damage. For sure gonna hit, and then that's another 6 damage. Stunner or no stun? Mm, Are you saving I think it? it's really good for her to be stunned, but if I, if I try and then she doesn't, I'm only gonna have one key point left. Okay. Um, nah, fuck it, we ball. Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin the key point, see if she gets stunned again. Ooh, it was almost a two, and then it rolled to an 18. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's fine. Because, okay. I mean, realistically, other than Flurry of Blows and Stunning Strike, that's kind of why I even took the Cloak of Displacement, so I yep. wouldn't ever have to Patient Defend because of the fact that I have the Cloak of Displacement. Yep. Uh, and it doesn't cost, uh, whatchamacallit, to deflect. It costs one to attack, which I did, but it doesn't cost one to deflect. Uh, it. The Rock Attacks Bryce does a 17 hit. Okay, the rock is still not able to connect with you. This is supposed to be a big scary monster. Oh my god, leave me alone! It's supposed to be able to scoop you up in the air. Damn it. Drill drill, you're up. Uh so I'm gonna cast Stinking Cloud. Oh my god. Oh Alright, so god. please Stinky. I want right. uh -oh. everyone to do a constitution Stinky. saving throw. Oh or what? Okay. Fifteen is what you're Everyone is is doing this. Okay. Uh, yeah, everyone. Yeah, what right. is the what is the what is what happens uh, if you fail it? So a cr I create a twenty foot radius sphere of yellow nauseating gas centered on a point within range. The cloud spreads around corners and its area is heavily obscured. The cloud lingers in the air for the duration. Each creature that's completely within the cloud at the start of its turn must make a Constitution saving throw against poison. I'm immune to poison. I do not need to make the save. Yep. Okay. And you're I, all okay. I failed. I failed the save. 
Um, so I You poisoned I, Vikes! Ren is not in range of the stinking cloud. Well, you have a choice. Do you want to get the rock and Irie, or do you want to get Ren and Irie? Ren is already blinded and poisoned, actually. Yeah, let's go with the rock and Irie okay. still. Uh, get Dwayne Johnson! Red is, red is I Irie. like kids, and these are kids. I'm not going to make him blind yeah, and sure. sick. Now, Irie is poisoned, the rock is not. So, Back to being on a failed again. save, the creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. Okay. Creatures that don't need to breathe, though, and are immune to poison automatic su automatically su succeed on this saving throw. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, and it sticks around uh, for four rounds. What's your What's your spell save DC, by the way, Drill Drill? My spell save DC? The number they have to roll to beat it. Under your spells tab, it should say it's spell save DC. Yep, I was just 15. Okay, the rock does beat it, Irie does not. So Irie this guy loses Christ. another so turn. Irie's vomiting. You Irie loses another turn. Uh, all right, Bryce spends her turn vomiting. Uh, what did you put in this cookie? Uh, <laughs> but you can still make a save to break out of. Oh, I can. Uh, yeah, what, whatever it was, oh. the poison. God. Uh, the poison or the grapple? The grapple. The oh, you, you broke out of the poison already, right? I, bro mm -hmm. I broke out of the poison. Okay, you uh, cannot. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that is can I break turn, out? unfortunately. I can't break out of... It's no. like it's like turn, bonus action, and bonus action. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, you Wait, that means you're literally that. never going to be able to get out of the grapple until you're not poisoned again. <laughs> it is Ren's turn. I've never seen a creature get two statuses before. I guess he saves against <laughs> both of them. Against the blindness... Uh, 14, is it a con save? Hey, sorry. You're okay. It is a con save. He is no longer poisoned by his own poison. Oh, sorry, that was his own poison. So yeah, he's good. Blindness, deafness, however. Natural five. He's still blinded and deafened. So he's going to fire just around with disadvantage. And I think it's not fair that he's only Oh, and hitting... it's only one or the other. I chose to blind him. Okay. Uh, now, it's not fair... I think that he's targeting naturally one of you. I'm gonna throw Irie and the rock in there. He might hit one of them. Oh yeah, that makes yeah. sense. So, oh, like, yeah. So like first that attack. Makes total sense. Disadvantage would not be that nat 20, so it's a 28. Second Fuck, attack. Dude, thank God. Is a 17. So that might not hit, depending on who it is. So what the, kind of attack was this again? This is just his ranged attack. The okay. one that I the fucking fired one. back at his ass. First attack so is say... going to target. Bryce. Oh no. Uh, second attack is going to target. Not looking hot. I'm poisoned. Second Grapple. attack is going to hit the rock, though. Um, <laughs> actually, no, sorry, Irie. Second attack is hitting Irie. Oh, so Damn sorry. it. Um, Are you. Attack. So, Bryce, you are going to take from this attack. To... Uh, did it roll a hit already? It did. Um,. Nine, half to five, and make a save against the poison. So you take All five right. damage, and then you have to save against poison. I didn't get to do my bonus action. Oh, you didn't get to do your bonus action? I'm so sorry. What's your bonus action? Yeah, uh, I wanted to heal Bryce with healing. Oh, okay. Yeah, do that. Do that now. So sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, he blasted his sister for 15 points of damage. That's right. Yeah! How much did I heal? For healing a lovely 10 points. Thank you, Drill Drill. A little bit of sibling rivalry going I, I on. I know I made you throw. I oh know I God. made you throw up, but but at least you're feeling a little better. Help I do feel better. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Do I take? Do I still take the five damage from Ren? Uh, yes, you do. You still take that? Five. It's five, and then can I do? Oh yeah, sure. Five. It's already five, half. Five. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Rock is almost full HP. Ren and Irie are at about half. This stuff to keep in mind. Uh, this is a tough battle. Um, okay, that was your bonus action. That was Ren's attack. Irie is puking. Uh, she throws up a bunch of orange and red leaves that just tumble. Ew! Off. Uh, and she heals by 10. Alvora, it's your turn. This healing by 10, bullshit. So, just so I understand, Addy, how do I... How does what? How do you get out of the cloud? Is yeah, it like you have to it, leave the cloud? You it's like can't. That's the uh, the cloud. The cloud 
It stays around for four four rounds. Oh my god! It. If, if, <laughs> or there's a, if there is enough of a wind, it will blow the cloud yeah. away. So if one of your allies has an ability to do that, they can. Yeah. Um. I do not. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I want to. Hmm. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna uh, look down. Uh, I'm gonna kneel down, actually. Um, and I'm gonna say to what is it, Irie, who's in front of me? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna say to Irie. All right, I've gotten the, you know, initial uh, anger out of the way. So why don't you open up to us and, 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 and maybe we can talk. And then I'm okay. going to use my action to use my it is uh, not eyes of charming. Okay, so what saving throw does she have to make? She has to make a DC 13 uh it doesn't tell me what it is charm person spell save dc 13. it's gonna it's gonna matter because she got an 11 depending on what stat it is it doesn't say on the on the thing it just says these crystal lenses fit over your eyes they have three charges while wearing them you can extend expend one well, you're charge casting as an the charm person spell yeah i'm casting so the charm, charm person. person spell saving throw is 13. wisdom Okay, DC 13 Wisdom. So, okay, Irie. Wisdom is her dump stat. She is charmed. Oh! Uh, Bora oh. moment. And oh, like, hold with, on. like, I want to. Hold I, on, I, wait, I wait, say I'm to... so sorry. She's an Eldrin. She has advantage. <gasps> yeah, I know she's an Eldrin. That is a. 12? Yeah. Ah! When I say it, I just, you see me push up the, the heart shaped glasses too, and they glint a little bit when the spell casts. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, uh, she's our, our, our buddy now. Um, and that's my action. I don't really have much bonus action thingies when I haven't made an attack. So let me just double check. Okay. So now, um, the way Charm Person works. They regard you as a friendly acquaintance, mm-hmm. as long as you or your companions do not do anything harmful to her. Okay. Uh, so then I will just use the rest of my turn to say to um, Bryce and uh, Drill Drill, all right, y'all, I think we've uh, uh, got a good case for which one we're gonna take, a, uh, take with us here. I think... Uh, Young Irie has seen the error of her ways. <laughs> okay, wait, yeah, you have a blinded Wren and a charmed Irie. It's just the rock who is attacking you right now. Well, Damn you, Dwayne Johnson! Can you smell what the rock is grappling? If you can get away from the rock, you might have successfully kidnapped one of them. Which will affect things in the world of our story. Uh, okay, that's Alvora's turn. The Rock. Oh God, we're gonna have to give over these character sheets the rock is gonna, this is over. The rock is we gonna, made them too good. The Rock is gonna use its movement to attempt to fly away with Bryce. Uh, I'm Alvora, going to... do your opportunity attack, yeah. Yep. You have to get a 15. Do I have to do it? Ha- I don't have it, do I have? I don't have, you don't get advantage on opportunity attacks, do you? You do not. Okay. Do I, wait, is, is the rock not vomiting? No, it's saved. Oh, okay. And do I get opportunity attack on the rock? It's tearing not? you. It did not. It's gra- it because grappling me? Yeah. Okay. Um, that rock ain't going nowhere. Uh, okay. That's a 17 on the die Roll plus that eight. damage. Roll that damage. That's going to be... Ooh, 10 damage plus... It's always one on the fucking force damage. Uh, 11 damage total. Okay. And it cannot... Its speed is zero, so it goes nowhere. Okay. Oh my god. The rock is just going to attack Bryce. 17. Nope. Okay. Drill, drill. You're up. Uh, drill, drill, please help me. Iris charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just... We're going to do a sweet, sweet. Oh, wait a second. Wait a gosh darn. <gasps> oh my god, wait! 
Is it metagaming if I if I if I try to like if I tell you a thing that I feel like could work? That you have Possibly. at your disposal? I mean depends on yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, say it in character. It, 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 was just your, it was just your turn, right? Or no, it was after the attack. Just say it. Just yeah. say oh, it. drill, drill, why don't you why don't you uh why don't you make this rock do a little dance? Why don't you make the rock do a oh. little dance? I know, I know. I was just actually about to do that. You know? <laughs> I, I know this this bird, it, it kind of liked my, my, my singing, my little flute from earlier. So let's try to do a little spell. Otto's irresistible dance. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you make the rock do a little dance? <laughs> so That's a t-shirt. The creature must use its movement to dance. Okay, well, what's the saving throw it has to make? It is a lovely wisdom. Wait, it has to use its movement to dance? Isn't the movement zero though? That's yeah, but that's, that's it's a like fail. forever. <laughs> it okay. keep, so it can never oh. try to leave again. And we can help I can help you next also, turn. Also it's a that. comic oh. dance. Shuffling, tapping its feet, okay. so As you cast the spell, the rock gets this effect on it. You all know. You've seen Drill Drill cast the spell. The rock will drop <laughs> Bryce on its turn to dance. That's why, baby. That's why. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> You're still just throwing up this whole time. Okay. You're gonna be dehydrated. It also has a disadvantage on dexterity saving throws and attack th rolls, by the way. All right, awesome. I mean, depending on how y'all swing this, you could potentially end this combat soon. Uh, drill, drill. Any bonus action? Any um, healing word to I throw mean... a bardic inspiration anywhere? Yeah, I mean, or does anyone want healing? Instead? I wouldn't mind it. I'm not gonna turn it down. Yeah, I'm I well below half HP, so I would not turn it down. Oh, okay, okay, I'll give it to you, honey bear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll with. Okay, we got some four d8s. We've got. Oh Jesus. Okay. Okay. Okay, you got seventeen. Oh my god, are you not just sweeter oh than a motherfucking god. summer peach? I love you, girl. You are come on now. Can come I also on. <laughs> like start moving toward Ren? Yes, you may. To like maybe, you know, grab him. Yeah, he's like writhing around on the ground. Ah! Ah! Uh Bryce, it's your turn. Uh so wait, what's happening with the poison clouds thing? Do I have to take a con save or Yeah, just... unless that blows away, you have to do it at the start. Be can, I, can, I walk, of can I walk out of it or that not until the rock drops you. But the rock is dancing. On its turn. Yeah, I thought I dropped him. The rock starts using its turn to dance. It doesn't start. Oh, oh. So I have to make the rock drop me and then I can move. Or you could just wait for the rock's turn to come around. Yeah. Okay, but can I throw? So I'm 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 just curious. Like, can I take an attack action, or that is the poison affecting that? Make a con save. Make right? a con save. Yeah. Con save, cool. Yeah. So afraid. Nope. Uh, nine. I'm so sorry. You vomit again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I love it. I gave you the cookie, and I think I food poisoned you. Yeah, it literally is not meshing well with me. Okay. Uh, Ren is gonna save against the blindness deafness. He rolled a natural twenty. Whoa. Drill, drill, as you approach him. Damn, that sucks. Uh, he stands back up. You, what did you do to my sister? Oh, I mean, she's not doing too hot. We were gonna try to take you guys. I think you should probably just come with us because everyone's vomiting over there. And I just, I think you kids would be way safer with us than out in the world because you're yeah. definitely important kids. Nice try. We know what the Navy does to people. Yeah, protect you. Uh-huh, sure. That's I... what I would do, I swear on my life. Pinky promise. Make a dexterity saving through a drill drill. <laughs> Had to get my wine. <laughs> yeah, so sorry, we're playing through the break. We're almost done. Wow, um, seven. 24 points of force damage, drill drill. Oh, uh, shit. As Ren cartwheels back, takes his cannon out and boom. <laughs> Fires a blast at your feet oh, that explodes. Geez. Oh! We're not gonna be taken in that easy. Um, okay. Irie That's is funny. charmed. Irie looks to you, Alvora, with a glimmer in her eyes. Where are we going? We're just gonna go on a little trip, you know? Don't don't worry, we'll be leaving soon. 
Are you telling her to do anything? Um, <laughs> if I if I can, I will say just sit tight. Okay. Oh. She sits down. She's technically speaking prone. Uh, okay. Alvora, it's your turn. How far away is uh, what's the set? I cannot. I can't read the names. How far away is Ren from me? It's like twenty feet. You can make it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, head over there. Uh, the rock can't attack me, and neither can Irie, correct? The rock can attack you. The rock to dancing, is he not? On its turn. On its turn. Oh, on its turn. That's fair. Um. It might not. I mean, I'll let it take its opportunity attack. I don't give a shit. 25. That hits. Okay. I'll just multiply this D8 by 4. Oh, you lucky bastard. Uh, 13 points of piercing damage from its speed. Okay. Don't you have evasion or no? Not. Blue. It's for deck saving. Yeah. Deck saving. That's just right. like a straight up attack. Yep, wait, wait, wait. Did you? Sorry. Did you roll with disadvantage? Why? For the attack? Cloak of Displacement. Still 25. Okay, fair. All right. It's plus 13 to hit. Yeah, it's plus 13. I mean, you know, you, you gotta... You, the magic items, you gotta use them. You gotta yeah. use them. No, you're right. Okay, that's fine. I okay, take you make, your, you make your way over to Ren. I make my way over to Ren, uh, which is just movement, uh, and I am going to... Um, okay, now there's two things that could I could do here. I could try to stun him, or I could also try to charm him, but I get the feeling that this guy's got a lot of wisdom. You don't know that. No, I know. I'm just speaking aloud. I'm just like, hmm, let's see. Uh, also, hmm. Oh, excuse me. Would I, would Alvora know? Because I don't know, but I'm just, I'm, I, and I wonder if I'm attacking her brother, is that going to break her free of the charm or is she going to like have something to, to you to do as that? long as it's from what i can tell as long as it's not an attack aimed at her mm -hmm. and you don't make her attack her brother mm -hmm. like physically attack her brother you're okay okay then you i am try to going, stun him or something i'm going to hmm I'm gonna attack him, I'm gonna attack him. Okay, roll to hit. His AC is not as good as his sister's. Um, is, I, I can, I, I would like to have said that I got in a way that I could be flanking with uh, uh, Drill Drill so that I get advantage, or is that not possible? Is she not close drill enough to him? not in melee range with him. Oh, you're not in melee range? Okay, mm, that's fine. I'll just attack normally then. Uh, that is a, 13 to hit. 13's not going to do it. You have okay. more attacks. Uh, second attack is a 14 plus 8. Yep, that'll do it. And you four. have a bonus action attack as well. Yes. Uh, 2 plus 4, 6 damage. Okay. Plus another 2 force damage, so 8 damage. Okay. Um, and I'm I will... First, I'm going to bonus action attack, and then I'll resolve if okay. I want any of them to be stuns. Okay. Uh, 18 yep. on the die. Yep. So that'll definitely hit for... No, let's pull okay. this one. This one yeah. uh, eight damage. Okay. And I am going to spend... Uh, my last key point to try and stun important save right here his con modifier is a plus three hmm. what does he need to get he has to beat a 16. seven seven four plus three is seven when it's done Oh, baby. I'm still vomiting, but I'm so excited. Alvora just claps her hands together and just says, all right, uh, why don't we wrap up our cargo and uh, I'll give Briggs a call. Oh my God. Ren is Alvora stunned is and Alvora girl. is charmed. Or not Alvora, Irie is charmed. It's the rock's turn. The Let's rock go. drops Bryce <laughs> and starts dancing around. 
We out of here, baby. We out of here, those baby. Feet moving. Okay. We move out. Drill, drill. It's your turn. Uh, oh, I mean. Yeah, he's stunned, but he's only stunned for about six seconds. Oh. So oh, if you oh. do anything you can to d restrain him or or, or something in if the you interim. have rope, if you have. Um, I can say that you all like have things I, to restrain uh, people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sea so stone like cuffs, baby. Sea stone cuffs. Sea stone cuffs. Can I also just uh, try to blind him again? Yeah. Uh, and you, yeah, you've got handcuffs on you. Yeah, and then, and then, you know. He handcuffs. rolled a three. Yeah, he's blinded. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! All right. Oh I my mean, god! This really turned around, guys. Because wow. I was very scared at the beginning. Oh my god! Yeah, if you guys had just done this fight, like normally, y'all wouldn't have won, but you got clever. They each have ah. they each have over 130 HP left, and the Rock has over 200 left. Oh wow. my God! So, y'all, I think. Do you want to call right. in Briggs with the ship? Absolutely, I'm taking Absolutely. the communicator out. Hey, Briggs, darling. Okay. Uh, you want to cut your smoke break early? Cause I'm sure you're on one. Uh, we I got don't our, take uh, smoke breaks. Cargo. I smoke while I work. Okay, fair enough. Well, we we we've got the the marks. So uh, you want to bring the bring the ship around? We'll oh meet you ashore God. as soon as possible. There is a rock dancing, and I yeah. you know okay. it's, it's pretty funny. And I'd rather you get here before it ends. More to see it. It's just fantastic. Don't worry, I didn't stay stray too far away. And within like a, about a minute, the big hover ship kind of like skimming across uh, the ice, like comes to a halt. Get in. Uh, yeah, I'll say that Irie allows can you I, to, like, restrain her with cuffs. Can um, I take Ren, like, under my, like, yeah, under me? Yeah, absolutely. Let me go. I'm, bringing the Yeti, I'm bringing the Yeti head. Let me go. I'm dead. <laughs> Honey, no, you tried to resist too much, and you're gonna get hurt. You guys are very powerful, and I bet scarier people are after you. So don't worry. You're gonna meet all my kids. Tiff, Tiff. And uh, Lula, oh my goodness, they are just gonna be absolutely in love with you. Oh my God, Fester will probably just truly, oh maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe Van Gogh will do a portrait of y'all. Oh my God. Van Gogh's very good with art, but Tiff Tiff, I think you and Tiff Tiff will get along. You guys can go out on the I'm farm. He'll show you prison. everything. I'm not going to that prison, you can't make me. Oh, we can make you. We can do, make you do a lot of things. Damn it. I mean, if you if you think about it in a, a better sense, you know, we could have, and then uh, Alvora pulls the the, um, the the glasses down a little bit and like gets real close. Absolutely ripped you sons of bitches asunder, but we didn't. And you know, I was pretty upset that your sister did as much damage to me as she did. So you're getting off light. Rice takes one of the other daggers in her pockets and like cuts like does red have like long hair red has like a mop of like dark yeah right like did a slash like just to, like cut like a lot of the hair off like this could have ended a lot worse ren whispers to himself senka eleanor i'm so sorry as you all get on the ship Oh my god! Uh, the doors of the ship close, what? and the three vice admirals leave the tundra of Uncharted Island number 74. Uh, oh my as, god. As time passes, the rock's dance wears off, and the camera sees the rock just take slow, pensive steps towards where the ship went off. As the camera goes up, Visible on the rock's head, unusual to most giant birds, are two pointy horns. And the rock starts shrinking down. The feathers shed, and standing in the rock's place is an elderly satyr woman. And she says, Well, I'm really in for it now, aren't I? And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Shut the shit! <laughs> My sword, they're, my, they're, they're not, I mean, not drill drill, but they're my cousin. Are they, my, are they my cousins? Yeah, they're your cousins. What would Addie, happen if we killed Addie, them? What happened? Addie, that was Sylvia's fucking grandma. 
That was what? that was Beatrice fucking Etherhorn. This is this insane. Is Oh, oh, I was already yeah. like, whoa, Lord Drop for Eleanor. And then you fucking, holy shit. Grandma can turn into a rock. Holy fuck. She's, she's strong. The grandma was dancing? Julian, Julian, you just fucking, I just, my brain just took a shit. Holy fuck. Oh my God. Malik, the Yeti, all, the Malik Yeti do you remember anyone, why right? they were on that island? To get those two. Wait. Do you remember why the twins were on the island? No, uh, why? What did you say? They were looking for something. All right. Thank you all so much for coming by. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh I'm sweating. Uh, Holy Julia. fucking shit. That was so Y'all did it. Uh, oh my God. As promised, this session has an impact on the world. Uh, Eleanor's cousins, representing the spring and autumn courts of the Feywild, are now in military custody. Uh, uh -oh. Sylvia's grandmother, Beatrice Etherhorn, is now, uh, in the fray. Like I was saying, everything you did tonight- That is so wrong. Has an oh, effect on the no. We should have just died. We should have just died. <laughs> we got a Marine for this shit now. Oh my God. Thank you all so much for coming by. My name is Julian or Julie Ciel. I am a- uh, GM here on Twitch. I also play on the Free Forge every Friday, uh, their TTRPG channel. I am the uh, one of the <laughs> co-writers of the award-winning audio series, The Realm Tree. It's about fae. It's about fairies and how they get their wings. Malik turning into a wacky, waving, inflatable arms floating tube, man. I'm not okay. Uh, we have merch. Follow our pages if you want to listen to more of my writing and hear more some more more wacky little twists like that. Look for the Realm Tree. Addie is one of our primary voice actors in it. Addie, where can the good people find you? Oh, you can find me on Twitter at Addie Bree, on Instagram at Addie Bree, at TikTok, you know, the TikToks with all the videos. Addie Bay Hayes, you know, B-A-E and oh, A-D-D-I-E, B-A-E, H-A-Y-S. All my names you can spell differently. Very strange, very strange. Um, you can also check out my website, uh, www.addiebreehaze.com. And yeah, come, come watch the, come watch. Yeah, watch your Spotify and listen to the Realm Tree. <laughs> and Sunshine Von Brass will be so excited. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Uh, to Malik? Yeah, Malik, how are you feeling right now? Um, I have a lot, I'm processing a lot because My there's the me coming. that was like, ah, I want to destroy. But then I'm thinking, oh, wait a second. Bef before I just to say before you even like dropped those crazy lore bombs, I already was like, we're probably gonna have to give the character sheets of these vice admirals over to Julian and eventually fight them. And Alvora, uh, if she had been taken out immediately, as we've seen, is a little busted because she did a lot of shit in this. But wow, that was, wow, my wig is fucking so <laughs> right Um, You know, you can catch me when I'm uh, more coherent on um, the Radio Kaiser Gudan uh, podcast with uh, some uh, friends of mine where we actually talk about One Piece. Uh, we should be uh, next week recording our first episode back from hiatus which uh, should be fun. Um, and then you can also follow me at uh, the Maliki Cauldron on Instagram, where uh, myself and my one of my best friends and bandmate, uh, Rachel, post music as uh, Astral Emissary. That's the name of our band. And um, you can pay any one of the people you see here uh, in order to get me <laughs> to play D&D &D with you uh, or pay me directly. Actually, no, you have to pay everyone and also me. It's a package deal. But I mean, look at what you got from this session alone. It speaks for itself. Um, and yeah, uh, Michael, what, what's going on? I'm going to sip this wine. Please, please take control. Oh, I also have a sip too. Mm. Mm. Hi, yeah. Michael. You might recognize me as the Vice Admiral. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, for the show you just watched right now. Uh, you can find me on, I'm a fighting game commentator, tournament organizer, and player. You can find me on Twitter at Steam underscore Gorilla and on Twitch at Steam underscore Gorilla. And if you pay me $5, <laughs> I will have $5. Julian, take it away. So true. Uh, thank you all so much for coming by. This was just a one-off of our main campaign that does have an effect on the campaign itself. Um, we usually aim for Thursdays. We kind of see what happens. Um, but yeah, uh, Thank you all so much. Um, I will raid 
uh, Jammy, who is another member of the Free Forge. Before Jimmy we Jam. get going, and wait, don't go away yet. Oh, oh, oh! Here's a cat, Kitty. Oh, Kitty! Incredible. We're so happy. Look how happy. Oh, uh, hi, Tycho. <laughs> All right, so thank you all so much for coming by. Thank More you. next time. Follow yeah. follow us on the social medias to keep up with when this happens because we do it yeah, a lot. Yeah. All right, take it easy, y'all. Bye.